yeah. show. That's but all right, are y'all ready to yeah. start the show? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's go ahead. Get it popping. Ooh, I'm sorry. I got one last thing to say. Ain't Go nothing ahead. worse than when you playing Wii Sports and the computer miss it and it just dropped me. Oh, the computer oh, miss it. I'm, I'm, I'm like, bro. I'm pissed. You, oh, yeah, that's right to him. Double. Yeah. Oh, who yeah. did we that double? That make me sick. I'm definitely about to go get my 275 from GameStop. I'm turning this Wii back in. <laughs> Never. Hey, y'all want this? Give me my two, two, three dollars. I'm yeah, out. I'll be so sick. Yeah. But all right, let's get started. Yo, what's good, everybody? It's the Storm Podcast, episode 290. I'm your host, Malcolm. I'm here with my boys. C2 on everything. It's an email. You know what it is. What happened? On every day, I don't know. I expected more. I don't know why. Oh, all right, cool. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. If y'all haven't done so already, make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Check out our other podcast, the Retro Crush Podcast, and rock with us on our socials, man. Uh, I actually didn't drop nothing on YouTube this week. I've been working on sponsorships like all week, which is super positive. But I need to get back on my YouTube grind for show because mm-hmm. that YouTube shit About is that time. yeah. So I went a full week with no videos, which is crazy. Dang, I dropped hella short for him. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't dropping no long form. form yeah, no long form this week. So I got to make sure to get back in my long form bag because I'm not trying to fall off, man. I've been I've been going hard on my YouTube and I can't. I can't, bro. I yeah. can't. I'm gonna get back into YouTube, so, low key. I've been holding this in since game night. Okay. <laughs> E-man. make sure you talk directly. Into E-man. Me too. your gamer card is in question. Because I saw the most insane moment of all playing video games with you. And it was possibly the funniest moment of all time. So the round Noah's the Dissonant. Right. Right. For y- y'all who don't know, is uh, we're playing a game that's kind of like Among Us. It's called Lockdown Protocol. Yeah, it's called Lockdown Protocol. That shit was fun as hell, by the yeah, way. You yeah, you get guns. You get uh, yeah. you can pick up a knife. It's like, 3D Among Us, Dan. Yeah, it's 3D Among Us. So it was prob- probably like you couldn't write a scene better than this, bro. <laughs> okay. So like I'm standing there because no one killed me. Right. Like I'm like, damn, this nigga got me. Like right. called me back alley, shot me. Right. <laughs> like I'm done for. Yeah. So I'm dead. I'm just watching, right? And y'all are standing at a machine and every – it's like all y'all are holding like something that has to go to the machine. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. E-Man is standing behind you and uh, Caleb. Right. And I'm like like watching this third person. Right. So I'm sitting there, right? Noah walks up behind all of you. Oh, yeah. I do remember this. <laughs> yeah. I do remember this. He pulls out the gun and he drops it. Yeah. Right? So E-Man sees him drop the gun and just looks at the gun, looks at him, and was like, what are you doing with this? Like, he doesn't say anything. Yeah. He picks up the gun and shoots E-Man. And I'm like, E-Man, like, what happened? Did and he freeze? shot all of us quick because I died, like, the second after. Yeah, yeah everybody the- died. Like, I didn't even know what happened. Same time. Because I think it was a shotgun. I think yeah, he, he had, the shotgun, he had, he had the shotgun. So, yeah. like. But the problem was it was like a three or four or five second sequence where he drops the gun. Yeah, he's I did. fumbling yeah. to pick it up. He picks it up and then kill, shoots the E-Man with before E-Man says anything. Yeah. yeah. Like, Cause I, I'm thinking like <laughs> if he pulls out the gun and then he drops it and it, he looked at me when he dropped it. I was like, okay, I mean, clearly he can't be in Cause like if he's the impot, he would just pick up the gun and shoot. So I was like, he must be okay. Like, Cause this wouldn't make any sense any, any other way. So I was like, he must be cool. The best moment of the night was <laughs> that nigga Soba is the funniest nigga in the world. Cause I went to go shoot this nigga. Mm-hmm. I thought that the pistol insta killed. Yeah. So, so you- I'm like, everybody else went the other way. I was like, yo, Soba, we gotta go this way. So me and him go off into the side room and he's doing something. And I just, Bow. And then the nigga didn't die. And he just looked at me. Woo! Yo! Everybody, nigga, start screaming. I'm, I'm like, yo! This nigga sofa shot me! Like, Woo! I'm trying to, <laughs> he's trying to lie. <laughs> Bro, I'm like, I thought this nigga was gonna insta kill him. I'm, bah! This nigga look up like, what you do that shit? <laughs> I was like, oh shit. No, the best shit was, I, I think we won that round. We did win that round. Mm-hmm. I was the bad guy. Yeah. And there was no weapons, nigga. <laughs> All I had was a screwdriver. Yeah. So I run up on Noah and so, I mean, on E-Man and Soba. And mm-hmm. I'm like, yo, either y'all got a weapon 
E-Man, like, I got a knife. I'm like, yo, this nigga C2 acted shady. We just got to <laughs> run up. We just got to run up and kill him. And E-Man, like, all right, then, bet. Sober, like, huh? So we go to walk off. Noah, run up and just shoot E-Man. <laughs> and I'm like, this is perfect. Because me and Sober are like, it's Noah. Yo, this nigga Noah Wilder, bro. Noah Wilder. A whole bunch of chaos ensue. Nigga, we run the room. Caleb shoot Noah. Did Soba get killed with the little thing? Like, yeah. everything just happened in that once. I'm like, fuck it. I go to stab C2. I'm just, but I nigga, was, yo, bro, yo, bro. Like, why is he stabbing me? <laughs> like, he's tweaking. I had a screwdriver. Like, nigga, I yeah, knew yeah, that shit wasn't going to work. Really but it was just so right. much chaos. I thought, I knew I wasn't going to kill you, but I was like, I'm just going to cause as much chaos as I can. Because if Caleb sees C2 kill me, then maybe Caleb would kill him. Like, I didn't know what would happen. I just knew after when I saw the gun drop, I was like, and E-Man said nothing. I was like, if this was me or Malcolm, I know certified the second this gun hits the ground, like there would have been no doubt. One of us would have screamed. It doesn't matter what game <laughs> it, it is. Matter what game, I don't trust nobody. I don't get any leeway. Like, <laughs> yeah. no matter what game we're playing, I get no leeway whatsoever. Like, we we were playing Chameleon last weekend or whatever. Yeah. I could say something that makes perfect sense, and everybody just, it's Malcolm. And I'm just sitting there like, all right, cool. <laughs> is it in games where it's like you just don't know who's doing what? It must be Malcolm. <laughs> I, that's not even how probability works. But it's like, <laughs> like a lot of other people have specific tells that you can go off of. You don't normally. So it's just like, all right, we just have to go off of. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. These three niggas have tells. Malcolm doesn't. It must be him. If, what? if we don't see these three people's tells, then like. Then it must be Malcolm. It must be Malcolm. Because he doesn't have a tell, so we just have to guess it's him. That's the dumbest shit ever. That, we're playing Among Us. Whatever game we're playing, instantly. Oh, it's Mal- get, get killed no, Malcolm. I realized in Among Us, like, I have to play like a bot. Like, I can't I can't play with my brain because the second I start playing with my brain, niggas are like, nah, it's him. <laughs> I could do yeah. absolutely nothing It was nothing like a wrong, door bro. closed. <laughs> <It's crazy. laughs> I was like, come on, gang. Like, I'm... How is it my fault that I actually use the processes? You in can't the game? play too smart in I do absolutely nothing, like and everybody's like, "Oh yeah, yeah. you can't Stop. play too smart in some games." It's just a, like with Among Us. I, I know the second a door gets used, I'm like, "Yeah, bro, I'm getting blamed." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I get blamed for everything, bro. But um, all right, let's go ahead and get into some anime shit. Anime, E man, you said you had something you wanted to talk to us about. Crap. Death Note. Oh, Death Note. Yeah. Uh. In, I'm still I'm watching Death Note and I'm almost finished with it. Okay. I still I think I might have said this last week. Mm-hmm. I still don't understand the debate between L and Light. Of who's smarter, or who's better, or who's who's smarter. smarter or better. What was the last thing you saw? Uh, 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 Light just got the Death Note back. Okay. That was genius. We haven't seen L do it. Like he's a great detective. Mm-hmm. But we haven't seen L do anything close. You believe that Light is smarter than L? Yes. By I've, a landslide. I believe wholeheartedly. I, not wholeheartedly. I believe they're extremely close. But if I had to pick one person who's smarter, it's L. How? I like. Because I think that he is ex- an extremely good detective. If we're just going off of straight intelligence, right. I feel like it's Light. Here's the problem. L had no reason to know he was going up against magic. So L basically figured the whole case out. Like, and here's the thing, right? You know, it would be different if L was like, I have no idea who it is. L has known the majority of the time that it's light. He's just like, I need to prove that it's light. But he believes it's light. So to figure that out from magic... Is some next level like yeah. light has an advantage over him, nigga. I'm playing with magic and devils and shit like that. This nigga, all L got at his disposal is his brain and the government and yeah, the, the government. government. Yeah, yeah but I I do think I think light was more tactful, but it's only because of how hard L was really pushing him, and L was like. 
L is literally looking for a needle in a haystack. He's going and up against he, God. He, yeah, and then he did the smart thing and like, okay, I'm going to just take this portion of this haystack, right? And this is how I'm going to figure this out. I'm going to like map Japan. I'm going to drop this thing. And we're gonna figure out where this guy is. Yeah, L is definitely out where, smarter. Yeah, I'm like L is smarter than like, but like, but passing not by the much. death note from like, no, that was the hardest. Both shit ever. Shinigami back to him. That was the hardest like, shit ever. He was going crazy. No, was that shit was, was crazy. That, that was the genius. whole arc where that nigga didn't even know about it. When then is get rid of it, I, and the nigga that just was crazy. Like to think. That many steps ahead. He literally had to know how he would think if he didn't have the death note and think how everyone else would think. He knew he would come back in contact with the death note at a later time and everything else would flood back. Then he was cooking. And not only that, but like he and granted, the other dude is nowhere near as smart as light. But like who's the other dude? Uh, the dude from yo yo yo. yo. Oh yeah, yeah, that guy. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, I'm like he caught that dude and had a piece of paper in his watch. He knew he would be wearing that watch. Yeah. Even after losing his memory. Yeah. Like that's genius. He literally did outthink all of them niggas. All at of that them. point in time, but he also had he does magic. have magic. Yeah. And L doesn't know. L has no. It doesn't matter how good of a detective you are. If magic doesn't exist, magic doesn't exist. Yeah. So I'm not factoring in for magic. And L even still at certain points was like, nigga, is this magic? This shit has to be magic. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, so the way people are dying, this has to be magic. Yeah. You can't downplay. Like he was just at such a crazy disadvantage that to be at such a big disadvantage and still be playing at level playing fields. Because him and Light were playing at a level playing field. Yeah. Even though L had been drastically taken to a disadvantage. I I don't – I wouldn't say he was drastically at a disadvantage as he much as – He was going up against magic. Yeah, but I had the drop on you. Like when I – when we started this chase, you didn't know I was chasing you. Like, when we started this, it was under, you just thought, you know, I'm just in my book writing my thing. I'm doing my thing, right? Right. So I went to go flex this power. You already preemptively, you had a trap set for me. So it was like, I won't fall for another trap this nigga sets again. (laughs) Like, it won't happen again. And he didn't fall for any traps. But it's still too big of a disadvantage. Like, I do understand what you're saying. It's because, like, not only am I going up against magic, but there's also the case that I'm going up against two people that are magic. Yeah, right. This nigga going up against hella magic. No, he was going (laughs) stupid, though. Like, I'm saying in the beginning, though, the even the part that led him to light. Was only based on the fact that he had so much, re- he had so many resources and Light didn't know he was chasing him. Like if Light knew about L, there is a 0% chance Light would have got caught, that he would have ever found Light. It wouldn't have happened, but he didn't know that he was looking for him and then it all, it all falls into place. And well, it's no, like, but oh, he I knew that people trap. were looking for him. He didn't know that L was on, but he not knew at, he was not, being Not at that for. point. He, he that was inst- before anything happened for real. No, he like even before his after his first kill, he mm-hmm. got cautious because he was like, people are going to be looking for me. He was like, people are going to be trying to find out who. Once Kira got a name, yeah. he was like, he knew people were looking. The yeah, whole I was about to say after after he knew Kira had a name, it was yeah. Like, yeah the yeah, whole world he was didn't, looking for Kira. He didn't know that like the instance that he walked in, it was a trap. Right, like he got set up, it, and, it was and a once movie he trap. knew L was looking for him because the they, beginning of the programming was, "I've been looking for you." Yeah, I've been <laughs> looking for you, but he didn't think that this was a trap. He got he got set up initially. Yeah, you knew. And, uh, yeah, you. He just he fell for a trap, and then the rest of the show was just him expertly dodging traps. He dodged but that's every thing. trap. L never and fell for any of Peter's traps. But he just like lowered all of his like suspicion of him. At first he was like, yo, you're at like 10% chance you're Kira. And then it dropped down to like 7. No, it then went it dropped higher down. by a lot first. Yeah. 
Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, that. because it jumped up to like ten because it was like no, it, 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 he, it was forty at one. Yeah, point. he was I think like it was even higher than that. Yeah, he I was like close to fifty at a time. Yeah. Know, if you think it's fifty percent, this guy, you should have known it's this. If no, he did because those- when the one agent died, mm-hmm. he was like there were only four people that it could have potentially been, and then he was like those two people are dead. Like it's either this nigga's son or another whoever the other nigga was. Yeah. I can't That's remember. why he was, locked that nigga up. Yeah, after uh, Ray Pember and his wife got cooked, it was like, yeah, dude, it's got to be. Like, <laughs> yeah, he was like, he was like, yo, office, I hate to break it yeah. to you, but it's your son. Yeah, and he was like, it can't be. You. Then he, they locked him up and because they were like, beat, you're a kid <laughs> with magic. He said, nigga, erase my memory and then hide <laughs> the book. I got two demons working for me. Like he was, yeah, yeah like yeah. he caught both of them. No, yeah, yeah, no. He won. Like the yeah, nigga yeah, caught him. Yeah, but then the nigga magic. Like, the his only way, way that we got out is because we're literally not Kira anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Like and the, but then even then, L was like, "Yo, it's like this is a whole different person." Yeah, he was like, "This nigga is way different." What is going on? Yeah, yeah, that was that. Was, but that was still just like a crazy clutch play. Oh, I would have never thought of that. It was just like, just what? get rid of it. And they just, I was like, "Damn, no, nah, he's going crazy." But then to get it back, oh, man. to get it back was genius. If I had that much suspicion of Kira, honestly. I wouldn't have let him touch the book. I don't know why L let him. But he didn't him. have any suspicion at that point, really. But yeah, but because there's no reason to have. Suspicion. But you should have had, still had the suspicion that it was him. But you wouldn't have let him touch the book. Why not? Because I thought that it before it might have been you, right? So I'm just not gonna let you touch the book why, again. Why? Why not? Why not touch the book? Yeah, well, because you're you're not suspecting magic. Yeah, because you're the like, book oh, is fucking see. magic. It doesn't matter if I let you touch the book if the book isn't magic. There's no reason guess, for him yeah. to not because it's magic, nigga. Yeah. Well, how the fuck else would no nigga, no matter how smart you would be, would be like, hey, don't touch this. This might be magic. Yeah, that's true. Because that's why the other dude even got so far. Like they saw him pick up the book and write in it, but they were like, yeah, they were okay. like, how did he do that? Yeah. Like yeah. magic is crazy. Yeah, I guess that does make sense. Yeah, going against magic, I see why people yeah, rock just, with L. It's, it's I still think movie. that light is going crazy. No, light is, they're but, both going crazy. Yeah. But I got L just a little bit over light, just strictly just off str- the fact that no magic. I'm going up against magic and still doing my shit. Yeah. But I, even It's with, like we're playing a game and I don't know the rules. You know all the rules and I don't know the rules. No, we're playing a game and you're cheating. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, like, uh, there, by all means, this was not something in the, like, if we were playing by the rule book, you're playing outside the rule book. Yeah. Right? Like, nobody but it's knew like, this was It's here. like we're in a boxing match and I have a second invisible nigga on my side. Like, it doesn't matter how good you are at boxing, this nigga's gonna steal off you. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like yeah, giving him magic does give him an upper hand, but he's so many steps ahead in ways. They're like, L is going crazy. But, there are so many plays that I was just like, nah, like he's but going. Think, but think dumb about right all now. those plays and would those plays work if L knew all the rules to the Death Note? No. If he knew any of the rules to the Death Note, this wouldn't. Even when he got the Death Note, he wrote a fake rule in there. But yeah. that's so, what I was about right, to say. Was, like, it funny. definitely wouldn't work, but you can't think of, like, that's fire. We wrote fake rules no, in the Death hard. Note. That was hard. That, that's crazy. <laughs> I'm not Y'all, saying Light isn't the GOAT. They were like, yo, Light is if turned. they don't die in 18 months or in eight months, it, ca- it can't be them. Fake rules. Like, they were going hard. Yeah, no. Uh, they're both GOATs. But if I and had to pick and one, and I got to put third, a third Death Note pop up out of the like <laughs> somewhere. I ain't even know about that part. I ain't oh, that far bad. yet. My yeah, bad. that's why I was. Yeah. Uh, my bad. yeah, I just got to the part where the uh, the Yotsuba guy got captured. Apparently, there's a manga where another nigga, like it's the it's another Death Note story. Yeah, but another nigga found a Death Note. Like I don't know if it's before or after, but I want to read that. That sounds fire. Yeah, yeah, it's just more Death Note from another. Didn't the dude that made Platinum End make this? Yeah. Ah, uh, hmm. interesting. Yeah, I didn't like Platinum End as much as I like this. Yeah, they're not. A- Comparable. Yeah. Hmm. What? In gold to be God. There, uh, no, but in quality? <laughs> yeah, not in quality. In story, yeah. Yeah, I was saying. It was like, in story, they're extremely was, that's, similar. That's what I was, I thought you were saying. Yeah, not comparable. I was like, not comparable. Yeah. No, no, no. In <laughs> themes and in story. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but in quality, they're not comparable. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah but overall. He put his foot in the Yeah. 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 
that nigga put his hands in the yeah. first one. You know, I'm not in the first one. Thumb. You know. Yeah. <laughs> it ain't going crazy. I don't know why that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> nigga put his foot in Death Note and just <laughs> threw his thumb in. Thumb in this one. Platinum hands. <laughs> thumb in platinum hands. Yeah, yeah you, can, you can have yeah, that. Yeah, a little bit. A little yeah, bit. Yeah, take that little thumb. All right. Um, I wasn't going to do this, but I have been getting badgered, hounded, questioned, and even threatened a little bit. So, I got another One Piece update for you guys. I got here early today, and I read through Marine Ford. Mm -hmm. So, I finished Marine Ford, and I can give you guys a One Piece update. Niggas have been intense about this shit, and this is why (laughs) I hate One Piece fans. Yeah. (laughs) One Piece fans are actually the worst fan base. 1,000%. No. Worst fan base? I don't know. Who's worse? No. There's bad fan bases out there. My hero... It's I, not worse. One hundred percent worse. No. One hundred and ten percent. They're both pretty bad. And I might give it to my hero. Though. <laughs> my hero is terrible. No, the but the One Piece fan base only comes for you if you're actually in it. <laughs> no, it's not even coming for you. No, well, what they come for everybody. But One Piece, the One Piece fan base. I've never seen a fan base have a more thick set of bias goggles than the One Piece fan base. Niggas okay. cannot think straight. If you're a One Piece fan, you cannot think straight when it comes to One Piece. And it's insane. You could give Albert Einstein. That's a smart nigga. Yeah. Let that nigga read One Piece and ask him a question about One Piece. Nigga just lose everything he ever known before. And I'm like, my nigga, what are you talking about, bro? Like, if you too deep, deep in One Piece trenches, it's gone, bro. You're, yeah, you're I can understand that. Like, like about what? Anything. Like, okay, perfect. Exa- the Celestial Dragons. Yeah. Niggas are so deep in their One Piece bias. Mm-hmm. Niggas completely ignored what the entire argument about the Celestial Dragons was. Niggas talk about, you got to watch more later down the line. It doesn't matter if Luffy ends up being a motherfucking celestial dragon and the nigga's extremely strong. That's not what the fuck I said. I said the name is bad because there are niggas who aren't lit and are celestial dragons. There will be niggas that are lit. Who cares? I'm not saying there aren't going to be lit ones later. The fact that you can just be born with a turnt title and not be turnt is crazy, nigga. That's like if you're born Hokage. Yes, sure. The fourth is goaded. Naruto is goaded. Yeah. If Kiba was just born Hokage, nigga, that doesn't make any sense. It's not a good. Well, Hokage is not a good name because like Hokage don't sound. It don't right. mean nothing. Yeah, it don't yeah. mean nothing. But like yeah. the grand, I don't know what I can think of. What's a good ass title? Uh, 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 the Wizard King. Wizard King. If a non lit nigga was born with the title Wizard King, I'd be like. Y'all need to rebrand, bro. I, yeah. I think it's different when it's like a, it's a lineage thing. It's not, it's not like, it, that's more like a family thing. Like it's, it's a just family tree. Poorly named though. And that's the, the thing. But, but you're saying poorly named and not like you, you're not giving a reason why it's poorly named because celestial dragons yeah. sound like demons. Yes. You're, you're just. Like you're you can't just, guarantee that this person's gonna be a demon. Exactly. How do and, how, how do you know that? Well, I'm asking. No, but I'm saying I'm like, saying, you, like you, if you you're born no, this way, I you, can't you guarantee know, that this person. No, is yeah, demon. you know one thing about like a singular celestial like dragon, and now you're like making a broad sweeping statement over like all of them. It's like yeah, because, this this one might not like all like navy admirals all, are all of them lit. You have absolutely no clue. It does. It's a. It's a title. Like I don't know if every single one of them are Luffy level, but, but it's like, not something that should just be handed out to anybody. But it, it's a family thing. It's it's a royalty thing. But it's not. It's not like it's like um, Nozel's Nozel's family is still like royal as fuck. Even though two of the siblings suck like a mother, like they're not good. Like they're two. not the uh the two middle the two middle the it's the second oldest and then the third no, the, the, the other like girl no they're all turn they're just not like yeah no, yeah no but I'm saying like 
they're not magic knight captains, yeah. but they're ma- like, they're magic knights, but like you comparing them to some of the magic knights. Yeah. You shouldn't even be a magic knight for real. Like that's just how, that's just I mean, how it still, is. I, I there's a, saying, there right? are magic knights that are buns. Like the, some of them are actual, but yeah. No, no, but that's a title where you should you shouldn't just get this title, but like some, right, but some you people earn it, right? And the correct, and this is what I'm saying: the, one but, piece royalty, niggas, the, but you don't earn your title, right? But this is what this is why I'm talking about one piece niggas. The correct counter argument to that is either one, the title doesn't sound like a demon, blah blah blah, whatever, or arguing it, it does sound like a demon. Yeah, but you could you could argue that. No, that, no, that's, you, but, you can't argue that it can. doesn't sound how it sounds. But you, no, because <laughs> that, if that's a, a good celestial dragon. That. Uh, no, a celestial dragon does not sound like a a regular human being. But you could argue that it's like, yo, celestial dragon doesn't sound like you're gonna be the g- most goaded nigga ever. It it do. But that's a that's the counter yeah, argument. The, the, but saying that like, yo, there will be niggas that's goaded later on. Doesn't erase the fact that there are niggas now that aren't. Yeah, but it's, I'm it's more about your lineage than it is about like who you are. Right, uh, but that, uh, but that's a counter argument you could take. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. Why would you assume a celestial dragon would be able to beat Luffy in a fight based off title alone? The, you know that you would assume Luffy. that because that is what you uh, that is the safe assumption when you hear the title dragon. That is that, a safe assumption. That that is a that's just the jump. That is, I'm saying so, that's so, not, okay, that's, but, not, that's not actually a safe assumption. That assuming that a dragon is an unbeatable thing is is not of, a safe assumption. Yeah, it's not a safe assumption. I feel as though that is a poor argument, and I think how? you do too. How? If you're watching an anime and you hear the title dragon, yeah. you instantly think this is the most Somebody's unbeatable go thing. Somebody's gonna go kill it. That's what I think. I don't. You think don't, this is the most unbeatable thing? No. no when no, when I you're don't. watching One Punch Man and they say, "Yo, this is a dragon level threat," you go, "Oh shit! Bring the strongest, because this no. is the strongest." Re- ready? That nigga's getting wiped. That's what I think. Oh, somebody's gonna. Uh, Saitama's gonna show up and kill it. It might not even be Sai. Uh, uh, Genos might pull up and kill so it. So when you hear dragon, you think, "Oh, that don't mean nothing." That's no, that's no, weak. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. That's not. We're shit. gonna dog walk it. Yeah, that's what. That's what I think. Yes, in One Punch Man. Even if like somebody did dog walk a dragon, okay, the so reason when, why when wait I wait, wait. Fearing, I, I didn't think the dragon was gonna beat. You don't think it's gonna beat it, but you think it's gonna no, be no, a no, big no, ass no, challenge. No, why, why didn't I? Why do you? Th- why don't you think he's gonna beat it? You just because the main it's an unbeatable task. Why didn't? Why won't? Why do I think he's because gonna beat the main it? character always beats the unbeatable task? Oh, so setting the highest standard right on the government, which is who who is who's top off is the government. The main character, so the beating the celestial dragon. It makes sense that Luffy would be able to beat it. It doesn't make sense oh that you God. and me makes can. Perfect sense. Uh, it doesn't make sense that you and me can. It doesn't make sense that Oops no, no, could. No, no, it doesn't no, make no. sense that anyone could. You could not beat a celestial dragon. Yeah, okay. Because you would swing on that nigga yeah, and then cap. die. You would die. You think you think you would lose a fight to a celestial dragon? No, no, no. Cap. It, it, one on one on one. I'm That's not going to beat. That's what we're talking about. Yeah, one on one. I'm not going to beat it. You're never gonna catch him one on one. That's a, that's like saying, oh yeah, I could, I could definitely, you know, I could kill, um, I'm trying to think. I could, I could kill, uh, King Bomb from, um, no, that, that's not his name. Fuck. What's, uh, Boji's dad's name? King Boss. King Boss. Uh, right. I can kill King Boss. That nigga was sick as hell. Like, yeah, you, you could probably kill that. Nigga. Would you kill that nigga in his heyday? No. You're but like, him not in his you, you, you can't, you can't, kill you you just wouldn't be able to kill this nigga on a normal day you but he was sick ever. as hell he was sick as hell you could have definitely killed him he was sick as hell and he whooped boji's ass no he was sick as hell and he died and then took over his son's body like uh, he died like i do you I, not, I, do I not remember when he came back him. and crunched boji yeah, th- from his son's body no from his body at the end when, when when did that happen? When his son got his body back, and the nigga literally ripped down the whole. Or he got his body back and ripped down the whole wall. He fought Boji at the end. I don't. I don't remember that. Well, I, yeah, that I, happened. I, but, I don't remember that at all. Like King Boss, I remember King Boss literally like he he dies. He came back, what Boji's ass, apologized afterwards, and then was gone. Okay, well, uh, maybe I gotta rewatch that. But I'm saying regardless. Like, just because you can kill a nigga doesn't make his title not what it is. But you do, but you do 
understand yes, that it yes. is a fair assumption to assume it's, that it's, the dragon is the, is the strongest thing around. Uh, yes. Okay. And the strongest, That's all I'm saying. And the strongest niggas around are in the dragons. They're, they're all there. All the strongest niggas around are up there. But you just don't, you don't know them. So you assume off of seeing one of them, oh, this is misleading as fuck. You don't even know what that guy can do. You, you have absolutely no clue. You just saw him get punched by the goat, right? Like the goat punched right, him but, in the mouth. But that's like, why I asked. If that nigga is going to become oh, the, Luffy level, Shanks level, oh, not, like, not, like, probably not that nigga. Probably not that. That's but, what I'm saying. Learning Dragon more is. later doesn't change that. That's all I'm saying. It doesn't change that the title is vastly misleading and niggas need no, the, a rebrand. The, 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 that's all. It, all I'm saying is for the argument to be, yo, we all understand <laughs> that this is misleading, but there are outliers that actually fit the title is but a bad the, argument. But the, that's all I'm saying. That's the thing. And that's not one piece out. Is, it's like multiple. He is more of an outlier than like the rest of the dragons. He is just one of those greedy niggas who like, you know, I just got a good bloodline. That's what it is. I'm a greedy nigga. I just want so to you, eat food. So you believe. Post up. So you believe. Granted, I haven't read the rest of the story. Yeah. This is off what you believe and i want you to actually be on yeah you believe that more of the the most of the celestial dragons are closer to doflamingo than to that little nigga yeah okay that, okay yeah yeah like a lot of, uh, the, the the niggas we just ran into are going dumb like going to a dragon <laughs> we just ran into a fucking dragon like this is going crazy but i'm i'm saying like the shit is the shit is nuts the shit is nuts it, it makes from, it makes sense from what I've seen. Doflamingo is a demon who happens to be a celestial dragon. No, 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 no. Being he, a celestial dragon, that nigga is a demon. <laughs> that nigga just a who demon. happens to be a no, celestial no, dragon. Like, he's not even a celestial dragon, though. Okay, well, that's you're, not what I read. But the, the, he relinquished. You can't relinquish. Like, yeah, yeah. but yeah, no, I'm not. You about to tear your whole argument what, what down, do right? Mean? Are you about to say he relinquished his title? Well, it wasn't him. It was somebody else. Okay, but if you can relinquish your title, then the bloodline part doesn't matter anymore. Is what I'm. Yeah, yeah. Why wouldn't that matter? Because you're arguing that no, the no, bloodline is what matters. Yeah, I can relinquish my title and still be the. I could still. He's still a celestial dragon. Okay, like, that's like, what. All right. But I'm saying like he relinquished the title of celestial dragon. All right. Well. So, uh, uh, all right. Well. I'm probably gonna cut most of this and put it on Patreon because that was a really long argument. Yeah. But. Let's get into the actual One Piece review. I Fine. finished Marine Fort. It was good. I do have a couple issues, however. I know people aren't going to like this. I know people go try to call me a hater. This is only because of y'all One Piece bias. Because for any other show, y'all niggas would agree. Ace went out sad, bro. He no, no. that nigga went out nigga, sad the, as fuck. What, what do you mean? That's the standard. Like everybody feels that that nigga killed himself. That was a, <laughs> that, this was a complete waste of my time. No, no, you, this wasted nigga, all my no, time. No, no, that nigga killed himself. Like no, that. This was that worthless. Is, that is actually what happened. Yeah, this like, was so dumb. I don't think I don't think that's like a, a uncommon argument. Like this well, nigga niggas fuck with Ace, but that, he he died on. There's some no bullshit. reason to fuck with Ace. I'm gonna keep it a stack. <laughs> there's no reason to fuck with Ace. He died on some straight bullshit. There's like, everybody hyped up Ace like this nigga was turned. Was this nigga was lit. He was a this nigga was fire. True to his character. <laughs> this nigga was a this nigga was a hoe. He was a high. I'm bro. not gonna cap to you. Ace was a hoe. This nigga. Went out so fucking lame. He went out over another nigga name. It was just so. But crazy. this nigga actually didn't. Why do was the shit. other niggas there? Like you're tweaking. He's like, I, go, go, run back to that bitch and, and he instantly was like, I don't get the, lit, bro. I don't get the hype for Ace, bro. I literally don't get it. This nigga was sad. He went out bad, bro. He went out bad. This nigga was, yeah, I, I don't get it whatsoever. No, I, I understand why people fuck with Ace, but it, it's, you fuck with early Ace and you fuck with the idea of like your older brother being some lit nigga, like, it, it's valid. Nigga wasn't but like, that great, the, bro. it was just like, seeing what happened to him, he got completely hoed. He, he yeah, hoed. this nigga was not impressive to me. Like, I. Well, he, he was lit. He was definitely lit. He was third in, in the, uh, white beard pirates. Second. You, you, third. He's the first mate. He, yeah, but there's multiple first mates. But he he was he wasn't he wasn't first. He was he he was second behind. Uh, you met the nigga. How do you have m multiple first mates? I'm 
pretty I'm sure almost he positive he's no, no, he's he's not above Marco. He's not I'm above pretty Marco. sure he is. Nah. Nah, Marco that nigga. Marco is a first mate. You hi, Marco One Marco piece, is that nigga. One piece just be making shit up though. You can only have one first mate. I'm pretty for sure Marco was Whitebeard's right hand man. I'm pretty sure. And and and, and Ace was his son. Like that that's They were all son. his son. Well, yeah, that's his yeah, but like that's his son for real. Um I'm pretty for sure Marco was like vice captain or whatever. He was like second in command. Um Okay, well, that was a bad thing to look up. I should have... In real life, you can only have one first mate. I, I don't know why I looked up real life. I should have looked up one <laughs> um, Just look up... What's um, his last name? His name is Marco... No, just look up... Um, well, I'm just looking who, who, who was... Uh, who was vice captain to yeah, the... Yeah, he was the league. former first division captain. Yeah. Marco's that nigga. Because they disband. Oh, is that why he's former? Or is yeah. it former because... No, no, it's because they disband. Okay, what was Ace's... Um, let's see. Are you that nigga, though? Oh, yeah. If that nigga was above... He, he, this nigga's still sad. I, I No, he he went out sad, bro. That nigga's like, just not sad. cool to me, bro. I'm not going to cap to you. He was, he was a cool nigga, like, like in the beginning, but, like, losing the black beard, right? That that was a knock for me, bro. My bro can't go out like that. <laughs> like, losing the black beard is unacceptable. Losing the black beard is... Un- especially... No, that, that part isn't... No, me. no, no. no. That part's it, it not was, It me. was super ho, bro. No, the white beard told him don't go. White beard said you can't. No, that part beat was that ho nigga. too. That part was ho too. White beard said you can't beat that nigga. Don't go. He said, nigga, I'm going. Got beat up, and now everybody went to come save you. And now look at it. Ace is the most garbage nigga, bro. I, I'm not gonna he cap threw. that nigga. So ass. <laughs> I, I have zero respect bad. for Ace. I have zero respect for that nigga. Yeah, that, that's that a nigga. nigga that, was... He's a do bad. He did super bad on his mission. He his mission was I'm gonna go get teach. I'm gonna teach him a lesson. That nigga so Ran nice, up on bro. Teach, got smoked, made, made Teach a, uh, what, uh, uh, Emperor of the Sea, not an Emperor of the Sea, uh, Warlord. Well, he didn't make him a Warlord. No, oh, yeah, that, he did, he did, he, he did, because he, he caught him, him and that made yeah. him a Warlord. Yeah, you're right. Made him a Warlord. Yeah. Right? Which gave him more power. So, you just fed that nigga. That nigga's but ass. After that nigga told you, don't go. Yeah, I have no respect for that nigga. My nigga, if I told you, right, hey, bro, as your brother, I don't think you could win this fight. Like, and as your, no, nigga, as your father, I can't, I don't think you're going to win this fight. Don't go in this fight. It's not worth it. I don't even want that nigga. I'm not mad at that part if you win. And the only reason I'm mad at it is because Whitebeard told you that. If any other nigga, whatever, sure. But this nigga is actually like the, the coldest nigga out. He, so the, if this he's nigga, number two all time, like it don't, it don't, it's Goldie Roger. White beard, nigga. Like, <laughs> if you're claiming that you love this nigga and you'll die for this nigga and you'll do whatever he says, you're cap. You're bitch made and your word means absolutely nothing. And you lost. Like, and you lost. Like, come on, gang. My problem, th- like, one of my biggest problems is you're mad because this nigga teach went back on his word and fucked the shit up. Your word was you disrespected the fuck out the fam. Right. Nigga, you just did the same shit, nigga. Like, you're no better than this nigga, bro. Yeah, sure, you didn't kill nobody, but you did the, in principle, you did the same shit. You ran off. Nigga told you, don't do that. You said, fuck your orders. I'm doing what I want anyway. That's exactly what this nigga did. Somebody got to stand for respect. Nigga, you're a bitch. And then you died about it. And then niggas fought for you, and you didn't fight back. You're a hoe. You're a whack. He he didn't even die. He died about a nigga calling his, like, yo, your nigga a bitch. Like it was that simple. Like, do you understand? Do you understand how bad I have to be willing to crash out if a nigga called you a bitch and now I, I like I'm willing to d- throw my life on it? That's fine. Like, that's no, that's up. fine. No. You can do that, but not when the reason you got locked up was because you disrespected. You just disrespected this nigga too. You're gonna get mad because this nigga. Why are you here? You're here because you just did the same shit. You just said, "Hey, fuck what you telling me to do." I don't, I don't fuck with you. I'm doing what I want no, anyway. Ace is a dumb. He's a dumbass. I have no respect for Ace. Now, Whitebeard, that nigga's the turntest nigga. What about out. Garp? How do you feel about Garp in this situation? He cool. I don't got no. It, no this didn't. This didn't change my opinion of him at all. Okay. Yeah. No, he, actually, he, I fuck with him more after this because he understood he had to do what he had to do. This nigga stayed ten toes for what he believed in. That's valid. Like, I I told you your whole life growing up, become a military man. 
I'm a military nigga, man, and I won't shake for this military shit. Now it's time to shake, and nigga said, I'm sorry. I told you, you didn't listen. I I'm not going to shake for this. I years ago, dude. Yeah. I, I told you not to. I told you if your head was ever on this steak, nigga, I'm going to have to let them cut them off. And nigga off. said, like, I'm sorry, bro, but, like, I told you, and I have to stand on my morals. I can't shake my morals for you. You might shake your morals whenever you feel like it, but I got to stand on mine. Like, I don't got no... Like, sure, a part of me was like, damn, it would be cool if this nigga was like, fuck it, I'm going to rescue him. But it's kind of colder to be like, my nigga, this is what I stand for, and I'm going to stand for what I stand for. You kind of homemade if you like, this is what I stand for, but, man, I can change what I stand for on any given day. No, that nigga was like, they was like, Garp, don't get in the way. He said, don't worry, I won't. And then when nigga killed him. I ain't moving. When nigga killed him, he was like, yo, you're going to have to hold me back because, like, I, I feel like I'm going to crash out, so please stop me. I was like, yo, that's some real shit, bro. <laughs> nigga still got his emotions. Like he you, said, a, yeah, nigga, you just killed my son. You allowed to feel mad. You, you allowed to be my feel son. sad. He like, yo, I do still gotta hold it down for these morals. I told you, bro, I can't have no mercy for you. This is what I, this is what I believe in, bro. Like, I don't agree what he believe in. I don't agree with it. But if you stand on what you stand on, then fuck I it. I mean, I agree what he believes in to the extent he believes in it. That's what I'm saying, right? Yeah. Like, like I fuck with Garp because he doesn't fuck with the government on some like. Nigga, I get to do what I want now because I'm a government nigga. No, he's it for the right reasons. Yeah, like, I want people to live free. Right. So, if this is the best way to have the most people live free, then I have to ride with this one. Yeah. Real nigga. Yeah, I got no... I I have zero hate for Garp. I fuck with him. He's probably up there. Niggas niggas was hating. For living... Who, me? No, 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 oh. no, 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 I'm saying niggas. I was like, I ain't never hate on that nigga. <laughs> not, not this nigga. Yeah, I, was like, I ain't never hate on Garp. But I'm saying, like, He's niggas would my... hate on Garp because he didn't say, bro. He's and top like, three living characters And I'm right like, now. yo, on, there's a dead one in Europe? Yeah, Whitebeard. Oh, okay. Yeah, one. Whitebeard no, is no, no, my no, number I, one. I didn't know, I, I, I'm, you said dead one, but we're in Marine Ford, so no, I'm I like. No, I finished Marine Ford. Yeah, he's, he's alive, but he's. You know what I'm saying? I finished Marine Four. He's, He's dead. Baked. He's dead. Baked. That nigga died. But he did the right thing when he left, though. Screamed out the same thing Goldie Rogers screamed. But yeah. The one piece is real. Go find it. Reignite the seeds. I ain't fuck with that. I, I'll fuck with that. Nah, that no, was, it's the last fuck. It's the last fuck you to the government. Nah, that was some whole shit. I'm not going to cap. How? Because take it back to Saba Odie. That nigga. Um, fuck, what's that nigga's name? Riley? Yeah. Is that how it's pronounced? Rayleigh? That's how I read it. I, yeah. I didn't know. No, it was Rayleigh. Bro. Yeah, Rayleigh yeah. was like, he went to go tell niggas. And Luffy was like, nah, bro. I don't want to know if it exists. Real <laughs> shit is just believing in it. Don't tell me if it exists. If I got to know it exists to go look for it, then the shit not cool no more. Yeah. So that nigga Whitebeard being like, hey, yo, it exists. Niggas like, oh, my. All right, nigga, damn, bro. Well, well that doesn't prove anything, right? Like, it prove it exists. No, no, no. How how does it prove it exists? That nigga didn't find that bitch. It prove it exists. No, no, it don't. The only nigga who knows if it exists for real, well, the only nigga we know that knows if it. Well, Rayleigh don't know either. Yeah, he was there. He wasn't there. Yes, he was. No, he buried us after he broke up. No, he was on. He was on Laugh Tale. He was. He he went the full length. That's why he knows the nigga. Why would it? You want to know? And uh, they. I don't want to no, know. No, but he, he wasn't. Knew. I don't believe. He knows. He from knows what I what read, the One Piece is. From what I, he knows I what the One Piece is. Right, but not because he was there. Because yeah, Roger yeah, told but, him. But he, yeah, he knows what it is. Well, yeah, but so, White, like, he told Whitebeard too. Nigga. No, 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 he didn't work with Whitebeard. He probably, he didn't tell him. No, but what I'm it saying, was. He told I'm him it was real. Like, yeah, no, but I'm saying like, because why the fuck would Whitebeard said it if nigga didn't tell him it was real? No, no, nigga would just be the ultimate capper. It's about getting people out to the ocean, right? You. Nah. It, it's about perpetuating the the pirate shit because it's if if I can sway people into believing the the One Piece isn't real, right? Then people stop becoming pirates and people stop pushing out to the seas and the government grow, grows more and more in control of people. But me telling people like, "Yo, I know the One Piece exists," that it ignites a new fire for all the people who weren't leaving shores before. I'm gonna assume that Roger told Whitebeard that it does exist because if Whitebeard screamed that shit out not knowing that exists 
that's going to knock him down in my books. And I don't want that to happen. Whoa. How? Because if you scream it exists not knowing, that's some ho shit. I'm not going to. That's ho shit, did, bro. Like, nigga, you believed. Like, regardless. I wouldn't scream I believe it exists, nigga. Don't just get no, to no, tell no, niggas. No, I'm, nah, bro, I'm that, telling That'd niggas. be like if I told Addy, hey, Santa real. Nigga, what you mean? You don't know that. No, no. My nigga, I'm saying when you're saying you've already been in search and in pursuit of this thing for the last 20, 30 years, and they're about to, like, use you as a martyr to, like, destroy the pirate world. We got white beard. We, it, it, this shit over with. The, the government that got white beard, nigga, they can get you. I that, have a hard time believing thing. that one, that white beard was genuinely searching for the one piece. I don't think he was. Yeah, I don't think he was genuinely yeah. searching for it. Yeah. But I don't I think, think he think, wanted I or think even needed him it. saying it was more about trying to get more people. It, it's reigniting the fire of I people think, to find the one piece. I think Roger told him he exists. I think he was like, hey, bro, that bitch do exist. No. I don't, I don't think that conversation happened. I think he only did he that. He definitely all. told them. He, he de- they were not like that. He definitely told he, them. He told that nigga, I'm about to go turn myself into the government. <laughs> yeah, he definitely told that <laughs> he nigga. Told he told him, I'm about of here, bro. They were packing me. So Whitebeard wouldn't yell that if he didn't know. The uh, type of nigga that they have showed us Whitebeard to be, that nigga wouldn't just I, scream. I if feel he didn't I know. feel like he was screaming out like it's the last ditch effort to say fuck the government. Like there there's no other there's no other reason to be at sea if you're not looking for the one piece, right? Uh, all the people we know. But we know that single, that's not why White Beer was at sea. Yeah, yeah, that's not why. That nigga was at sea for family. Yeah, that's what he, yeah, that's, that's all he knew. So he wouldn't send his family off on a mission that he didn't know was, he, yeah, he knows it's real. Nigga, that, no, real. no, that, he would directly send his family. No, he would not. That, that is directly what they've been doing the full time. But they, nigga, would believe, send their family and all that shit. I do not believe that White Beard was genuine. I look if White Beard if White Beard wanted the One Piece, that nigga probably yeah could've he probably could have got, got it yeah he probably could have got it. But he didn't want it for real. Yeah, because like, it's not about his age. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So, so, but but that's a whole different thing. Like that that I I truthfully believe that White Beard doesn't know if it exists or not. I think but he does. damn sure was gonna pull more people out to this. There was only one way to do it, right? And that's reigniting the people's fire for the One Piece because like. If this nigga dies and his final words are the one piece is real, like, do you understand how much more real the, that makes it for thousands and thousands and thousands of pirates? It's like, nigga, that shit, it has to be real, bro. D- Whitebeard died about it. They, they had that nigga in mid- Marine Ford just trying to smoke that nigga so he would, so he wouldn't get this message out. I personally think he knew it was real and that's why he said it. I mean, maybe he didn't know, but well, we, I don't, we, we don't know if he know. Well, we, it, I, I feel, like, I feel like, I feel, I feel like, like we, we have more than enough clues to know that only like a handful of people know. I think Whitebeard would have Rayleigh been one is, of Rayleigh is one of them. If this nigga Whitebeard talked to Roger right mm-hmm. before it was up, that nigga Roger would have been like, hey, B, bro. I, he said, I got, I hear some, I, he said, I hear some yeah, shit. Yeah, he was like, yo, there's some shit that, like, even though them niggas weren't besties or whatever, mm-hmm. niggas still had enough. They thought similarly, had I, similar. Re- nigga would have been like, "Yo, I hit some shit for the next gen. I'm about it's over for me, but I hit some some cool I, shit, bro. I, I real life. And to an extent, Roger would have to tell Whitebeard because like he knows that that nigga Whitebeard could just go get it. So to an extent, he had to be like, "Hey, bro, hey, bro I hit this shit for the next not generation. For you. Not they're even not us, for you. right? Because if he was just like, you got some shit you want to throw on top of it, oh, bro. Yeah, right. Because <laughs> if the nigga was just like." If he just didn't tell Whitebeard nothing, Whitebeard could have been like, fuck it, let's just go get it, bro. Like, yeah, it's, well, it's ours. You know, Whatever. Like, yeah, it'll Who, nobody gonna stop us. But I definitely do believe that Whitebeard, like, either 50-50 did know or did know. It doesn't I matter. Mean, he, he, he was gonna say something to try and get more people to go out to the sea because it's, it's really just fuck the government. Like, at see, the end of the day. That, see, that's why I disagree, right? Why? If he didn't know, I don't think his last words would have been, quote, fuck the government. If he didn't know, I think his I think his last words would be, I love you to his family. And I think knowing he already, he already did that though. He he after his son betrayed him and all of that, like, come on. But bro. that would be his final he, he, right. he had his big moment where he said I love you to all his niggas. Right. But I think his final moment to the world, right? Mm-hmm. Would be an I love you to his family and not a fuck the government. And I think 
I don't know if the One Piece exists, but I'm going to say it is a fuck the government. And I think that I know it exists. I want my niggas to go find it. Isn't I love you. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like that is more in line with well, I, uh, personally. Well, to drag this conversation back to where it matters. Right. Nigga threw all that shit away. We did all this for this, and this nigga ran back and threw his life away. Ace did. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were talking about Whitebeard. Whitebeard no. gave it everything he had. Whitebeard died on... He died standing up, gang. But this is why he Ace died is a, up the... Ace a hoe, bro, because <laughs> all his niggas just died for this shit, bro. Like, all these yeah. niggas just died for you, and then you threw your life away, bro. Like, nigga, you just made all of our sacrifices worthless. No, no, all of Impel down worthless. All of, uh... All of, um... Marine Ford completely worthless. Wait, you just wasted all of our lives, nigga. Fuck you, bro. Nigga, we came in here, down you, up Whitebeard, right? We left without you and dead Whitebeard. Yeah, we and, we lost. And lost hundreds of troops, nigga. Hundreds. All That's for you. Boats. Nigga, fuck you, nigga. Boats. Yeah. Bro, yeah, nigga, we done lost boats. the goddamn Moby Dick, the hardest ship in the show. We, we lost all the boats. Yeah, no, nah, this nigga bitch. Every fuck. boat. I'm gonna keep it a stack. It's fuck Ace, bro. Fuck I under Ace. I understand where you're coming yeah, from Ace. with that, cause like Ace, I got no respect. For he, he he threw his life away on that one. Yeah. Like I I ain't got no problem. I do. I ain't got no problem if you throw your life away, but you're standing on something. I have every problem when everybody threw their life away to get you out and you still throw your life away. That You were bound to die, nigga. We shouldn't have even came to get you. Yeah, this nigga pissed me off so bad. You can't fucking listen. And, like, to fall for such, like, a little kid trick, bro. Like, it was a little kid-ass trick. Yeah, I... I, I don't, I don't like Ace, bro. I'm gonna keep it stay. Yeah, that nigga I, Ace is I can't blame dude. you for... The, he went out bad. Uh, That nigga never went in good. Like the nigga never really did shit for real. Yeah, well, what we, we I never watched this nigga accomplish anything. No, it was, the first time we saw him, he was decent. Everything else was butt. The first time we saw him, he was kind of decent. Like no, the nigga was wasn't. Not he really. was lit. He pulled up. He helped scrape. Um, oh, who I think was it was, was, it, was it crocodile. Yeah, he stopped like crocodile sand or some shit. Yeah, like he that. scraped at it. He, he didn't scraped, even scrape him. He scraped. Uh, he helped scrape crocodile. But he like, didn't help. No, it, no, 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 was, no. Yeah, he, he was on the boat after that. He didn't help scrape. He. Helped stop him for the time being. Yeah. Nigga came back four episodes later and killed Luffy. Like, nigga, no, he you didn't kill him. He, he, he took the water out there, nigga. That nigga had killed Luffy for, the, like, the half of Alabaster. That nigga was dead. Like, that nigga Luffy was. And I'm like. <laughs> he was like a, a, a roach beaten with a yeah. shoe. I don't got no. I, I got no respect <laughs> for Ace. I'm going to keep it a stack. Fuck that nigga Ace. Bro. And, uh, I, can't, I can't blame you for hating Ace. He, I, I don't hate him. Ace. I don't hate him. But that nigga is. That nigga didn't stand for shit. That nigga wasn't that. That nigga. Fun the government. As any nigga who's screaming fun the government, I rock with that nigga. But like, he Not just, really. he threw, he crashed out. He's a true crash out. He's a hoe, bro. Right. He, he's a true crash out though. Like, nah, niggas can't fuck over my family like that. I'm chasing this nigga down. You, you, you did. Nah, you did. nah, I can't die here. I gotta beat up this nigga. My brother finna be the king of the pirates. Nah, I get, but nigga, you threw. You yeah, threw. I got no respect for him. Like, I, this. I, Personally, I all respect went out the window when I saw him like turn around and start like trying to run back to Kainu. And I was like, nigga, I don't know what that is. Oh, uh, that's the one. Oh, the nigga who killed him. Yeah, the nigga who killed him. Oh, yeah. Whatever. Yeah, when he ran back to Kainu, I'm like, yeah, you, um, you're dumb. I'm like, I'm like, you couldn't beat him. Like, uh, beating him is absolutely the, no, no, there's uh, four niggas could beat him right now and they're all on the other team. And I'm like the light Kizaru is that no that that's uh no that's his name is that the light one yeah uh then uh another nigga's name start with a uh the ice guy yeah yeah I don't I know his name but it starts with an a it's different now but uh, it it is yeah it starts with an a but him I'm I'm saying anybody who could have beat him is on the other team gang that's not true white beard white beard smoked white beard could have beat him. He smoked though. No, he White wasn't Be- dead at that White point. Whitebeard beat him with uh, no, no. A kind of beat him with tactility. Well, that and like you, know, you all got a home field. He, he beat him without laying a hand on him, gang. That's crazy. I guess he'd kill Ace though, but whatever. That's the only way he beat him was killing Ace. No, he killed. He killed him with his uh, his son. 
He tricked his son into, uh, no, 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 the other one. He tricked the guy on the boat to backstab Black, uh, Whitebeard because he was like, Whitebeard selling us out to get Ace. Hey, that the, was some I get shit. It. That yeah. was some ho shit. I'm not gonna cap. That, and then he that was like, a hoe too. He put the arm around him. He was like, it's not your fault. You fell for a stupid trick. And I, I was like, damn, that nigga real. Like, because me, me, you stab me and I, oh, then you're not my son no more. I'm calling you all types of names. I fuck with, hey, White Beard probably the coolest nigga in the show. I can't think of no niggas cooler than White Beard. Smoker cool, but he not cooler than White Beard. No, nobody cooler than White Beard. Yeah, White, White Beard like a real, real. Real yeah, man. but Marine Four to me, if I had to give it a rating, it's probably like a seven point five. She was cool. It was alright. I, I, I love fucked Marine with it. Four, but I just really, a, I, I really did not like how Ace's story went because I was just like, yo, this nigga. Like, I, no, I take that back. I take that back. Us. It's probably closer to an eight. White Beard alone probably take that shit to White Beard. White Beard a goat. Um, nobody else was really that turned this arc though. It was just white beard, really. White beard. Luffy did his thing, and he kept on doing his thing. But like that, that's Luffy didn't he, do nothing. He's main special. character. He's main character. Like so, like I expect him to do his thing. But Luffy white didn't beard do did anything. His like thing. Luffy, nah. Luffy didn't he, do. He, he wasn't really the Garpel. star of this arc. He knocked Garbell one punch. Yeah, but that's had not to get like, him out the way. Luffy's he's done a, better shit. You he know, he jumped saying? up. Garb didn't even want to hit that. Nigga. He was like, oh, "Yo, I'm gonna have to hit this thing." <laughs> no, you can't even hit me, on I don't. <laughs> believe me. that to an extent garp let that happen oh, oh That's yeah for, for yeah. sure so it's like even then like him running all the way up to all the admirals meant absolutely nothing he got his brother out of chains i really appreciate the fact that he went that far but it's just to see ace like literally throw everybody jim bay crocodile um any other pirate in impel down all the um all the guys who came from the uh, White Beard Pirates, he lit oars. Yeah, he threw oars life away. Like or oars died on the field, gang. Hey, I'm not gonna cap to you. I don't know what that nigga oars life must have been like before Hell. he met Ace, bro. But Hell. the fact that that hat was enough to make this nigga like that was the best shit that ever happened to him. That nigga life must have been that nigga. Hell. That nigga had a grass hat, bro, and nigga was like, "Damn, this the happiest I ever been." God damn, your life must have been ass. Ass. That nigga got a new hat and was like, man, it keep me dry in the rain. It keep me cool in the sun. I was like, nigga, you ain't had shit in your life better than a hat? Well, the nigga looked like a demon. The niggas probably treated him terrible. Like, no, yeah, I, I know, but it's just like, <laughs> the, probably the fact that terrible. this nigga was ready to throw his life away. No, no, no. Off Not a ready. hat, nigga. That nigga threw his life away <laughs> off a hat, nigga. <laughs> off a hat. I'm sitting here like, damn, I know his shit must have been ass, bro. Like, I was story feeling so bug, bad for nigga. him. The story had to be bad. Because I'm like, this nigga threw his whole shit away over a hat made out of grass, nigga. Like, it's not even like this bitch was, was cotton. This nigga threw his life away for a grass hat. Hey, man, it protected from the rain. Give him some shade. What? This nigga was sitting in the snow like, it keep the snow off me. I'm not cold. Nigga, it's still cold outside. <laughs> nigga, your life must have been terrible. Yeah. This was enough to turn you up? Yeah, it, it was, was enough to turn him up, yeah. But he, for all those guys to die, yeah, and like, you not get out of there because you're standing on some principle shit. You didn't stand it's on like, no principles. Nigga, you got packed twice already, bro. Yeah, Ace the worst. I'm not going to lie. Ace the worst nigga out, bro. Well, I take that back. Nico he the worst, he, he's the worst big brother out. out of oh, any for anime, sure. Out right? of any anime. Uh, Elumi's pretty bad. But, like, uh, I'll, I'll let worst? it go. Elumi is go. better than Ace for sure. Nigga, brainwashed his little brother into being weaker. <laughs> nah, he brainwashed him into being daddy. safer. No. Yes, he did. He brainwashed that nigga to be less of who he actually is. Man, he brainwashed fear, that nigga. nigga. Safe, fear, nigga. When you see me, you see fear. <laughs> That's what that nigga. He that bra- nigga- it would have been different if he brainwashed Kilo to be like, yo, when it's time for niggas to press you, like, don't do shit. No, he said, yo, don't throw your life away for no other nigga, bro. Like, he said, nigga, if some, run, if shit's fucked up, just run, get the fuck out run, of there, bro. Fuck other niggas. Run. <laughs> run. <laughs> that yeah. nigga kept him safe. He, that nigga's the worst he big Im- brother. He implanted coward in him. Yeah. <laughs> he said, nah, you, you too bold, big dog. It wasn't even coward. He, it was selfishness, nigga. No, no. He was, said, it look was out cowardice. for you. It was cowardice for sure. He, he had that nigga. He said, look out for you, bro. I think he was in that bitch terrified. <laughs> no, but, um, 
Yeah, he's got to be the worst big brother out. Um, yeah, I don't know nobody worse. I don't, yeah, I don't think it even, yeah, no, no, there's, yeah, that nigga's ass. So, if he's the worst big brother out, who's the best big brother out? Just in anime? Yeah. Lelouch. For sure. Mm. Who's better than Lelouch? I was. Lelouch Rudy is. Who? Rudius is a great big brother. He's not better than Lelouch. He's top tier. He's the, the S tier son, too. <laughs> like, nah, he's not better he's, than Lelouch. Oh, no, bro. Nah. Rudius is turned. He's not better than Lelouch. Yeah, he's not better than Lelouch. Like, as a brother, Lelouch is everything you could have asked for. Yeah. Oh. Uh, for sure. Like, that nigga Lelouch got you no matter what. Nigga, he dead and he still got you. Yeah, Lelouch gonna make sure you're good forever. It's definitely uh, Lelouch. That's that's it. Well, he also killed his sister, though. So, like... Lelouch? Yeah. We, wasn't other shorty also his sister? Not full. That don't... That does not That wasn't matter. his sister for real. That's his blood sister. Not really. Yeah. Nah. The, he don't rep them. Ha, they don't rep him. Just as much as anything They else. don't rep him. Has, you know, the, they did rep him. No, they did not. They did rep him. What's his last name? Lamp Rouge, nigga. No, no. V. Lamp Rouge. Well, at the end of the story, what's his last name? Zero? Cap. What are you That's talking not about? his last name. That nigga is Zero. No, no, he was Leiluge V. Britannia, nigga. He was, he was that nigga. He was the, he took his father's role. He and didn't fuck with it. none of his other siblings. And none of his other siblings fucked with him. Uh, Just Shorty Yuffie. did. Yuffie, that's it. Yuffie, and it, what he do to Yuffie? He, he can't be top brother. He, he didn't kill his sister. He didn't kill her. He did kill his sister. No. He did that. First of all, that was an accident. If I accidentally kill you, nigga, did I kill you? And, <laughs> and. I just need you to answer that. If I accidentally kill you, did I kill you? And you his older sister. That don't matter. That's not, that's not the best big brother. I, I, You're not a big Is brother. that his older sister? I thought they were younger than, uh, nah. No, nah, uh, the I only one younger is his, yeah. Whoa, what's her name? It just slipped my mind. Come on, bro. Uh, what is her name? I just nigga like, talk about come on bro <laughs> nigga don't even know nigga talk about come, I you just come had on a, I just had her name in my head hey, I don't remember but oh cause I could hear her hear him say starts with an N maybe it, de- it definitely starts Na- with an N Natalie Nonnally Nonnally yeah Nonnally yeah yeah definitely could remember that yeah Nonnally I was like it starts with an N nothing else it was slowly coming to me cause he'd be screaming it it was Natalie for a second yeah I was like Natalie and I was like no that's not it Nonnally yeah Yeah, but yeah Lelouch best big brother Ace worst that nigga accomplished nothing Ace is the worst big brother because all he was was like a a damper yeah that nigga didn't help him at all yeah that nigga added no positive he he was actually a negative mission and so like (laughs) yeah this nigga damn near got him killed Twice. Yeah. This nigga's not helpful. Three times. Yeah, I'm not. I I, I, I hate to hate on Ace, but that nigga ain't getting Because Magellan. Yeah. Uh, pulling up to him. <laughs> pulling up to Marie Ford. Yeah. And then, like, the punch. Like, no, he almost yeah, got me too. packed three times. Yeah, that's true, actually. <laughs> yeah, like, because if that punch, if that punch was not aimed for Ace. That punch. I haven't he was, watched. He was about to end that nigga. I haven't watched, I mean, not watched, but I haven't read what happens after, but I can assume they're not just going to have an easy time walking out of Marine Ford either. Yeah, so, that's not sweet. Yeah, like, I, I could assume that's not going to be like, and we all just poof out of oh, there. Oh, you punched my <laughs> nigga now. So, so, yeah, y'all can dip now. Y'all can, I'm sure it'll be difficult. So, yeah, it's going to be difficult. Yeah, but, um, there. all right, let's move on. Um, We got a couple new, I guess not a couple, we got one new anime, Don to Don. Let's give the first episode of Don to Don a number out of 10. Are we ready? Yep. All right. Let's, are you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, seven. (laughs) That shit was rated Rated R. R. (laughs) Okay. You said what? I said eight. Eight. What's your actual? I'll probably, I'll probably give it like an eight. Eight. Maybe a, maybe even a nine. Nine. Yeah. I enjoyed the episode. Okay. It was cool to me. It wasn't like spectacular and it wasn't ass. It was a good first episode. It, it showed me how far they're willing to go with the series, which I, I like, it gave me a nostalgia feeling. Really? When, uh, yeah. About like the fact that they're willing to like really drag it and it gets crazy. Like I felt like a lot of animes were staying more, uh, 
trying to stay at least more PG, but this one felt like it, it was straight out the park. Everything was wild. Everything was random. It gave me an old feeling of like, um, stuff like maybe game, no life, or maybe like the older stuff where it's just like, damn, like, yo, they're wilding right now. <laughs> it was like, this shit, it was, when, when the, uh, no, let's, uh, we could start from at school. Well, here's what I'll say about the first episode. I like the characters a lot. Yeah. I really like Ken. Taka, damn, Takamura? I don't, uh, I don't think it's Takamura. Taka, it's Taka something. It's, yeah, it's something. Taka. Yeah. Taka, anything else I say from this point on will be racist. Yeah. Racist. Yeah. So I'm just It's gonna... Ken Taka something. I've just been calling him Senpai though. That's the, that's his, uh, he's Senpai son or something. No, it was a cult. A cult. Son. Son? Was or a cult, senpai? A what was it? It was a cult coon. A cult yeah. coon. <laughs> yeah. Niggas yeah. yeah. talk about I've been calling him senpai. Wow. Oh, I thought it was, thought it was <laughs> senpai. He's not a senior, dude. Yeah, why, nigga? He's yeah. not your senior. Yeah. You're I a liked... grown man. <laughs> <That's> right. <laughs> <laughs> I liked Ken and I liked the girl. Yeah. As characters. I will say, at this point in time, I don't really care for the world. Like, to me... This is in the category, and like, granted, I don't know what's going to happen next, so I'm hoping that this isn't what happens. It's in the category of being, like, slapstick and crazy for the sake of being slapstick and crazy. And to me, that isn't what interests me. That's the same reason why I wasn't as locked in on Chainsaw Man as everybody else. Everybody else just likes Chainsaw Man because it's wild and crazy. Mm -hmm. to me the wild and crazy actually turns me off of it like i want to turn turn the episode off multiple times when i was watching this because i'm like i was like (laughs) it was wild i was like what is this it was very wild but it had some funny moments to where it was i didn't laugh at all you're a bug i thought that was hilarious i didn't laugh at all there were many parts where i was laughing i'm not what part made you laugh the grandma had me initial date the initial, initial date. when she's out talking, he was like, unless you putting out or paying for something, we ain't going nowhere. And then she just turns, looks at him, and then the kick. I was like, I was not expecting a full launch kick straight to the face. Oh, and then that, I, saw that the the I saw that in the trailer. Yeah, you threw it to the ground. She was like, oh. oh. Yeah, I didn't laugh, <laughs> per se. I, I thought was the more grandma like shock was value. Yeah, when the, he was like, the grandma, uh, she was like, that's uh, in the trailer, too. I'll suckle your teeth if you if I'll gobble the weenie. I was the bug. Like, <laughs> yeah, that, that was on. That was on the trailer laughing. too. So like the the aliens that was kind of funny when they were like, "It's okay, we we took care of your clothes," and they were all ripped up on the floor. I was like, "Damn, <laughs> that part was funny." No, that yeah, part was funny. I was, I'm not gonna I was dying. That, that part, part did make me laugh. It made me laugh when he was running on the ground. Like <laughs> she was like, "I took his weenie." Yeah, <laughs> he's right. just running. He's like, "Oh my god!" Yeah, I, I definitely I don't think know. That had yeah, funny yeah. moments. To me, it was more shock value comedy. Like, oh shit. I figured it out. I cracked the case. Listeners go hate me. This undead on luck. This give me undead on luck. To where it's just crazy as fuck, bro. Like, that's what this game is. It's crazy as fuck and funny. Uh, like, this is the same funny undead, undead, undead on luck. Undead is. On luck this is the same funny as undead on luck. Undead on luck wasn't funny. It's the like same they funny tried. as undead on luck. They, yeah, it was not funny. Yeah, it felt like they tried. Like, this actually made me laugh at times. Like, undead on luck I never like, made me laugh. I like Kona Suba funny. Because even though it's wild, it's smart comedy where yeah. you're like, yo, this shit is hilarious, nigga. But this wasn't smart was comedy. Sh- was some of the Konosuba is some shock value comedy. I don't laugh at the shock co- value comedy, though. The shock value comedy in Kon- Konosuba is hilarious. I well. like the smart comedy in Konosuba. That's the comedy where I'm like, yo, this shit. When niggas are good at, like, timing. When niggas are good at, like, the shit like that. That's how Konosuba get me. Yeah, I feel like they will have that later. I like, hope so. I'm not, and I, I'm not counting the show out at all. Yeah, even even in this episode, I think that the closed one was fairly like that was smart. Comedy. The way that they that had it in the comedy. background, yeah. I was like, okay, that they made kinda, me laugh. They cooked with that. <laughs> that part but made me we laugh. Took care of your clothes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> Tattered everything, but like the the. I'm going to suck on your dong and got like <laughs> that wasn't that, that, was, that was just like ha ha like that was a yeah, fart joke, bro. Yeah, like, but it was. It was funny because it was just so out of pocket. And that, no, but like, <laughs> that can also be really good comedy. Some of the best comedians are great at that. Yeah. yeah just being way out of pocket. Yeah. But I was expecting that. I was expecting this show to be way out of pocket. 
So I wasn't expecting it to be way out of pocket. Did you watch the trailer? I think I only watched the trailer once. So well, it, I only watched it once too. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't like really remember what was, was in it. Oh yeah, the grandma with Turbo Granny was in it. Uh, his nuts being gone was in it. Like he was like, "Damn, my nuts are gone." Like shit like that. <laughs> so I expected this to be that. That this wasn't that like. That part wasn't shocking to me. Yeah, that's that's what was shocking to me. Maybe like, yeah, I watched the trailer, but a lot of the parts I guess I missed. But yeah, it definitely had more funny parts in it than I was originally expecting. It wasn't bad. Like I like the characters way more than I thought I would actually. I really liked like the contrast between him being a spiritual medium and her being a ESP user or whatever that is. But I think that's pretty cool. Okay. Hmm. Wait, he's a spiritual medium. Yeah, because she believes in, like, spirits and stuff. Wait, no, I thought she was the medium and that he was, like, he's possessed. Yeah. Oh, well, <laughs> yes. <laughs> She's a medium and he's possessed, but he didn't believe in spirits. And now he is, like, he has that power. Right, but she's not an alien, so no, it's not I, a no, she to has like, that she is still on that The ship. ESP is supposed to be, like, a an alien. alien she's a medium, thing. though. She's a medium, but she has like oh, the, the, she al- got her powers from the. That's alien, from the though, alien because the stuff. alien like alien said he was trying to use the psychic shit on her, and no, then she, she got uh, her powers from her grandma. No, no, no I don't. That's think what that. the alien said. The alien said, "Did I did I unlock something inside of her when I was using my powers?" And it like yeah, but it was her something. grandma's powers. But it, I think it was a combination of both. Like the alien was trying to use his like psychological like. To like arouse her and stuff, which and, is crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah and then was he was idea. um, which is my worry that she's still on that ship whole time because now not the, on the ship no more. The dude, the dude she wanted and the dream she wanted to live is happening. Oh, so you think this is the infinite Sukiyomi? It could be. If on the final episode she wakes up and this was all just a dream. This is the worst shit I ever read. Whoa, what, what if she's pregnant with an alien baby? The fuck that changed. Might be worse. The whole shit was a dream. <laughs> this shit still has. I did y'all see have y'all seen the new TikTok trend where they um they like just do super cringy stuff. So it was like at the end, Gojo was like, like, oh yeah, you just woke up. This is just a dream you had or some shit. And like, this is the jujutsu school. We're gonna teach you a little bit about that. So come on in, Itadori. He said, "Oh yeah, my name's Itadori, but my friends call me Kaisen." He was like, "Welcome to Jujutsu, Kaisen." Like where they just oh, have like super, super like cornball, yeah. and then he was like, "I'm glad you're up from your nap." This is Jujutsu. This would what would have happened if you would have ate the finger? Like that's uh, what I just showed yeah, you. That would be lame. So my friends call me Kaisen. Cool. Well, welcome to Jujutsu, Kaisen. Yeah, that's that's stupid. terrible. <laughs> that's that's the ending you just said. Where it's like oh. she wake up from the dream and it's like ah! <laughs> she's still stuck. But I'm saying like there's no way you don't ask the guy his name the entire time. And at the end of the first episode, is the guy you've been asking for? It was Takakura. Time. It was Ken Takakura. Takakura. I want to say it's Takakura. It was Ken Takakura. Mm, maybe it just popped. In. It has to be Ken Takakura. It I was think. it was something like that. I don't know. Ken Taka. Yep, Ken Taka Core. Taka Core. Yeah. yeah. Crazy that that's a nigga's name. What? That it was the guy it's she the same had been name. asking for? Yeah. But that's what makes me think. I was like, oh, she's stuck on this boy. <laughs> I was like, they got her with the. So is that Turbo Granny shit going to stick around? I think that's going to be something that happens like. Not yeah, every right. episode, but like, like when they, thing. yeah, when they run into other spirits, he'll be able to transform into other spirits and stuff like that. Oh, okay. I yeah. thought it was going to be, he turns into her every time. Yeah, I don't, I think it'll. I, don't, I think the nigga just cursed. So like now he might have That's some fine. like type yeah. of. I think oh, that, he'll like fine. now the ghosts always show up around me. And yeah, I, I got no beef with that. I just thought it was going to be the granny all the time. And um, I'm yeah. grannied out, bro. Like I don't need no more. I rock with the granny. I don't need I no more than an alien. Nah. Yeah, I'm assuming. I don't know if her power is gonna change, but I think they're gonna run into different aliens. I don't want to sound like I'm hating, but like the more I think about it, the less I'm like excited for more, bro. 
Nah, I'm. I, I think as long as it, if is her clothes come cool. off again, bro, I'm not gonna want to keep watching. Like, yeah, that, that actually, made me not want to watch. I, it, bro. That actually did make me really uncomfortable. Like, I didn't that like really that. made me not want to watch it. Yeah, well, that like, part. I was, I was like, don't like, tell me they're goblin slaying me after all yeah. of this. Yeah, like <laughs> if it, the whole yeah. thing just felt unnecessary. I don't like when it's just like completely unnecessary. If it wasn't for the podcast, I might not have tuned in to episode two, just because I was just watching that like. Hmm. Yeah, I get that. It was definitely like super weird at the end. I was like, "This is just." No, I like. I liked it by the end, but it was like, but like with the whole alien scene. I was like, "This is unnecessary." That's the thing. I really liked all of the stuff that wasn't that. Like at the beginning, yeah. I liked all of that, and then I at the end, I like all of that. The alien showed up. I didn't like the yeah, well, I, yeah, yeah. So like, I liked any part that had to do with them. Their character in their character development, I liked all that. So like when I they like met, the story about her grandma, the story about the grandma, the story about why he wanted to meet the aliens at the end, finding out that he is Ken Takakura, blah blah blah. All of that, I like that. The alien part I didn't need, and the uh, this is I know what this is, I know what this show is. This is regular show. This is regular show. <laughs> he said to an extent. This yeah. anime regular show. <laughs> yeah. Times. This anime regular show. Yeah. It you, who's Rigby? Random bits. Probably him. Ken. Probably Rigby. And she probably Mordecai. Terrible. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's the case. But I mean, it's cool. I'm going to watch the next episode. I want to learn more about them, but I don't particularly. They haven't made me care about the world yet. I, so, I assume that we'll I'll learn like more, more about her spiritual once adventures. I I could deal with that, but like, I just I just think I was fucking with the uh, love. Like maybe I just need a love story. Maybe that's what's going on. But I like that part. Yeah, like, that, I that liked, part I like. I like them meeting each other. The school, like I liked all of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I liked all that part. I just didn't like the crazy too much happening part. I was yeah. just like, all right, yeah, it's too like much. The, uh, Essay robots. Yeah, I wasn't big on. I that didn't part. like that part. The I, the turbo granny part didn't make me laugh the that, way that, that part the funny. internet was laughing, yo, bro. The yo, internet found that shit hilarious. Turbo granny. It wasn't like incredible, but it was pretty funny. The way he dipped though had me dying laugh. The animation for her catching up and the way he was dipping out the situation had me dead. Like, I was, yeah, it was cool. It was. That's I, what I, I liked that. Yeah, I liked it. I'll it tune was, into the next episode. And I liked when the uh, the one guy got kicked straight through the phone. It was like somebody's calling. Oh, that was cool. Time. That was cool. <laughs> <laughs> was I thought that was dope. I, I liked that. But yeah. like, yeah, I, I I think everything on the spaceship could have like been done without. Well, I didn't. I didn't enjoy the spaceship part. It was just too crazy. Like when shit is just wild, just for the sake of being wild. It doesn't interest me. But yeah, I feel like it'll be a little bit more it's wild, tame. and it's like it's only wild because like, <laughs> like I'm thinking of Kona Suba, and when it was like, oh no, this is on your back on purpose, <laughs> and that nigga turned around. But that wasn't that wild was, for the sake of being wild. You that know what I'm saying? Wild. <laughs> it was wild, but it wasn't wild just to be like, yo, how crazy can we make this? That's not. That was a no, no, very. No, no. Plotted, intelligent, intent, like you know what I'm saying. Yeah, they did that strictly because of how bad he harasses women in the show. Right, like they gave him a moment where he got harassed. If the Chimera just would have burst through the door and been like, "Ah, I'm a Chimera, I have a dick, I want to fuck you," like that's what the equivalent would have been. This was like they built that joke up for the entire movie. He was in love with her. He left his friends. He turned on him, and then it ended up being like. All of that was it was a man. super smart and <laughs> he hilarious. Like, he was like, I don't know what I'm doing. Then in no the more. next season where he's, don't stand behind me. Like, all of that <laughs> is extremely, <laughs> get <behind me. laughs> Like, that's not wild just to be wild. So, you know yeah, what I'm saying? That, that's that's really all right. well thought out, well played. Even the moments where it's just like, the screen just pause. And they just looking at each other. Like, he died. And it's just him and the, the goddess upstairs. And they just. Yeah. Like, when that goes on for, like, 10 seconds, that becomes hilarious. Shit like that is so funny. Or when Darkness go to get the, uh, the Dulahan, and she, ah, slash, slash, ah, and then the two rocks behind her burst, and the nigga, like, 
what? <laughs> like, <laughs> that shit, because you're expecting one thing, and then it, like, take you down a different road. This show is kind of, or the jokes that have been made in the first episode were kind of just like, yo, let's just get as wild as we can. Let's get Let's get crazy, nigga. Let's just throw some shit in there. I just thought it was funny when Ken just started full sprinting from the demon. He was like, yeah, bro, I'm over here. <laughs> when she was like, don't he run, and he was taking off, that's like. He left the phone, and he was out of there. Yeah. Yeah. I- I'm not hating on it. It's just not my brand of comedy. Because people are very good at that comedy and become highly successful at that brand of comedy. Yeah. Yeah. But it's just not my brand of comedy, personally. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I liked I liked the episode. I thought it was pretty funny. Yeah, yeah. overall, I enjoyed it. It's cool. I, and, and the it's animation cool. looks good. It's good. The animation, animation was really good. good. I like the opening, too. The opening is fine. I liked how they kicked it off second you you started the episode it was in it. I got bored halfway through the opening. The beginning of it was super turnt. Halfway through it, I was like, all right. Nah, I, 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 I like, skipped through the second half. I liked the second half more than the second I was about to say, it, it's like... Weird in the middle, and then like the ending gets super lit. Oh, I didn't hear the ending. Oh, yeah, the I ending, the ending, was the ending is fire. It's not beating the nobody got you the way I do. Whatever, like that, that shit turned to me. Bro. Yeah, I really do. Yeah, no, the ending, ending the better. ending, the ending part of it was definitely. Do, are you saying like the ending of the opening or the yeah, actual ending? The ending yeah, the opening. yeah, the ending of the opening. It's like oh. two parts, kind of. Yeah, oh, it's like the I ending sucks. I didn't care about the ending of the. Uh, I didn't listen to show. Yeah. It's not all that special. But oh, I, did, I didn't listen to yeah, it. Yeah, I didn't listen to it. Yeah. But I, that, I was talking about the ending of the opening. Yeah, it's like two yeah. parts, but it's it's pretty good. I, I like, like the it. second part more than I like the first part. Yeah, but the first part was still cool to me. Yeah, yeah. fair enough. Um, Like, that part was turned. I was like, oh, shit. That shit was bussing. Then after that, I was like, all right, I'm bored. Um, But y'all ready to move on to My Hero Academia? My Hero. All right, let's give this episode of My Hero Academia a rating out of 10. Yeah. You you good? Yeah, yeah, I was, you know. Yeah, I'm trying to think of everything. I'm trying to think of what else happened. I remember all the Todoroki shit, but yeah. what else happened? What what happened before the Todoroki shit? Oh, you talking about Oma? Yeah. Uh, yeah, they, they, that was like a short. He's uh, gonna. That was like a teaser. He's gonna almost. fight me. Okay. That was almost like a. But teaser. something happened before that, right? No, was, not really. It was really just Dobby and a little bit of All Might. They didn't really touch on anything. Oh, okay. I thought I forgot something. They kind of... Did nothing happen with Mina this episode? Not this episode, I don't think. No? Okay. All right. Y'all ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, seven. Seven. You said nine. Yeah. All right. Let's hear it. I really liked this episode because I felt like there was no way they could have done this, like, good. Like, like, right? Like, because it was, like, after they sold the fight and pushed it off to Todoroki Mm -hmm. and... Uh, Endeavor had been running. He got half a stomach. He one armed, done. Yeah, like he smoked. Right. So I was thinking, like for the most part, it's done for. Right. Um. Yeah. With the mom, I never would have guessed his mom shows up to the fight. Really? Yeah. Like I thought. I thought it was over with for that whole art. Like we ain't gonna see his mom again. Like, okay. I wasn't like, expecting it, but I could have guessed. No, I I wasn't guessing that was going to be a part. I I didn't think she was going to be a part of the like mm-hmm. crescendo. Like right. like yeah. this this is oh, it's all coming to a climax here. I didn't expect everybody to be there, right? I didn't expect okay. the older brother. I didn't expect the older sister. I I expected like Yeah. Shit just going to kind of come. Uh, I thought he, he was going to die like halfway through the episode. I'm like, "Oh, he's dead, man." I gave it a 7 because I feel like this episode was the best way they could have saved what they already sold. Yeah, th- th- yeah, that's why I gave it the nine because they they did. To me, you at least saved it, and it right there that I'm gonna give. I'm gonna they yeah, they would have given me a nine for me. It's the it's the fact that they sold it at first, but they did do a good yeah, job. If the they would have given me this, episode, this I'm, I'm of, saying like I'm, that would be rating the series on this entire. Like I'm rating this episode and this episode alone. I gave it a nine strictly off the fact that it it saved a uh, an arc of the story I thought was completely smoked. If they would have given me this instead of Todoroki versus Dobby, I think this would have been heat. But I cared less because Dobby already died. You know, like, we already got this. Yeah, we saw him get packed. This shit was over with already. He did his uh, Power Ranger. Yeah, like, it was, "Ah!" Yeah, (laughs) Dobby already died. This arc was done and over with. And then they, like, 
brought it back for another time. But just like I said, I would have preferred if the whole Endeavor family went to go get Dobby, which is what ended up happening at the end, which was super cool. I thought my favorite part of this episode was Ida. Oh, yeah, he went yeah, dumb. Ida was going crazy. This was the best thing that they could have ever did for Ida. Yeah. I don't know why I never thought about this until now. Mm-hmm. His engines, yeah. he has to, like, produce those. I was confused by that part. Because what the fuck was that? Yeah, I didn't know. What, the extra piping? Yeah, that yeah. Is just like. I th- <laughs> yeah, I thought that was, like, like extenders on his, uh, I thought they were able to swap them out. You're able to swap out his exhaust things, so like yeah. I remember when he put the new ones in. Right, I thought they just stayed out. Yeah, I didn't know he could like retract them and like uh, support scientists. Yeah, I had never seen him do it before. I, yeah, I was so just a little confused caught by me, that. Caught me off guard, but this to me was the best because I don't think Ed is getting any better than that. I think that was his crescendo. Yeah, yeah, it don't get much. better. It was sick him. though. I did. Really it couldn't enjoy have it. got any better than that for Ida because. This is what he was made for. Yeah. He was made to, to get fast. places fast. To, to save people, to carry people. Because Ida is not made to be a fighter. Yeah. He's not. Like, that's not even what his brother he's did. He's a speedster. Right. Yeah. His brother wasn't even a fighter. His arc of being like, yo, only one person can do this, but they have to get there. And him being like, yo, I got you. Bro, the line that I thought was so hard. Was that nigga said, I'll be the one to lead the lost children to where they need to be or some shit like that. That was such a bar. Cause the one, like the only flashback we ever got of Ida's brother talking to him, that nigga said like, yo, the coolest people to me are the ones who can like save kids. Or He said some shit like that. I don't remember what he, I remember his brother being like, I save kids cause that's the coolest thing you could do. And the nigga being like, yo. I'm the one that's going to save the lost kids. He was, he basically said like, yo, I'm doing what my brother would be most proud of. Yeah. And that's a fire arc for him because I feel like Ida's arc started with Stain and his brother getting smoked yeah. and him being like, yo, I'm about to fight this nigga and kill this nigga. And that's absolutely not what his brother would have wanted. That's like, yeah. he was so far off of his path. So his, Peak of his story being like, yo, I finally figured out what I'm supposed to be doing as a hero. Yeah. Was like, damn, this nigga the turntist. Like, I fuck with Ida. That yeah. to me was his full circle moment to where like he did everything he needed to do to the best he could possibly do it. That was Ida eating. That's I think that's more of the full reason why I feel like this was a nine episode. They didn't miss. Like, at all their misses, they could have, like, you know, they, they, they was missing. They missed. What, what what did they miss? The first Dobby fight. No, no. The, yeah, the, I'm counting this whole a, thing you, as, you like, can't, a series. You can't count that as a part of this episode. I kind of have you're rating to. this. It's you're like a rating series. This episode, no, you're rating this episode alone. You're not. I'm, I'm you saying, can't. And, uh, no, yeah, I'm saying, I'm like, yeah, I have you, to. Yeah, you do. Well, then, if that's the case, then the Eda part's not cool. No, the Eda part's cool because it, it, it finishes off his arc. Right. Like, right? So they could have they could have fumbled. They could have fumbled, left him exactly where he was, and then he's just like the same, the same character. Right. But they did, they finished him, they flushed him out completely. I feel like they did a good job with that. Yeah, we don't need any more. I'm gonna I'm give that. I'm gonna give that a nine. That right? Edith's part. I'm gonna give that a ten. And yeah, like they, yeah, they, that's a they 10. did amazing. Right? They missed earlier Facts. on the Todoroki shit. Yes, sir. But they fixed it this episode the best way they could have possibly fixed it. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm I'm looking at that without looking at the other failures. Yeah, that's there. But I'm saying this right here. You did, you did your motherfucking thing. You I, revised I, I it. I but... wouldn't rate. Like, when you're rating a meal, you wouldn't just, like, like, okay, the mashed potatoes were good as fuck. Hell yeah. But the steak was a little dry. You, you, you gave me a little, like, oh, oh no, you just bodied this, right? Hold on, hold yeah. on. Yeah. This is like, if you were at a restaurant, mm-hmm. they gave you a steak and it was overcooked as fuck. Yeah. And you were like, yo, send this back. Yeah, and then yeah. the nigga bring you another one. And that one, bang, your Yelp review isn't gonna be yeah, five stars. But, but, you, yeah. you, but you would, you would definitely be like, yo, but the second steak, 
Yeah. Damn near gave them a five. Right. You'll be like this. I know this nigga That's can why cook. I got the nine. But my experience. That's why I got, it yeah. got the nine because it's like, that nigga fooled the first one, but like, yo, he just came because to, you he, fixed it doesn't mean like yeah, no, that's everything to me. If you could, act, if you well, was like, you know what, that wasn't my best work. But the restaurant, you, you said that whatever. like they gonna... gave it to you overcooked. Yeah. If you bring it to me undercooked, and then I'm like, this is undercooked, and then you go cook it more. It's not like it was but still undercooked when you gave it. Oh, that's better. Wait, yeah. no, you body that. You, it was still undercooked when you gave it. Y'all being uh, no, no, no. Now overcooked might be better because they. Reheated this story, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's a reheat to it. Cause it got cold. Nah, that's what it is. They brought you your steak cold, right? Yeah. And then you gave it back, so then they reheated that bitch. But it's still the steak that was cold before. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but that steak was immaculate. Like once you got the once it was heated up, it was immaculate. But you gave it to me cold. You had to to fix it. I'm acknowledging that you fucked it up. Yeah. I am just rating the steak on what I ate of that. When I ate it, nigga, it was a dip. Okay. <laughs> I ate the steak. It was far. Fair. So uh, it would just, it would be disingenuous if you wrote the review and you was like, yeah, they gave me a cold ass steak and just left it at that. It That's why the- I gave it a seven. Cause yeah. before this shit would have been like a four, but no, oh, no. Yeah. This is what I was going to say. They, this is what I asked for originally, right? Mm hmm. Since they fumbled what I asked for originally, yeah, Endeavor should have died. <laughs> I was feeling like that. Yeah, was, if Endeavor and Dobby would have died together in that moment, I would have been like, "I, right, bro, ten. This is what we need." <laughs> no, no, yeah, I, I think that would have been great. Endeavor's my favorite. Character. I would have been like, "Yo, it, this would have been perfect." They did though. this perfect. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would have been like, "Yo, they they didn't mess up earlier." Yeah, like, uh, that's what I I would have gone back and revised what I thought. But I do. Endeavor dying think, would have like um like Juan Love asked us last week or two weeks ago. Mm-hmm. Like, would Endeavor dying uh, not in, not would Endeavor die, but seeing what we asked for, does that make it better? No, but if Endeavor would have died, I would been like, I can fuck with that story more. Yeah, yeah this arc got a, it gets a check off for me because they finished it. Amazing. Yeah, the lead yeah. up it was worth the result. Somebody should have died. Like so, yeah, yeah. nobody died. Dobby died, but he's supposed to die. That nigga already died. Know, yeah, he was. Know if he actually did for real, bro. And, if okay, he's, if he's not, not dead, then I'm that's gonna ass. be. I'll be so. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it a stack. I don't know. If I'm gonna be dead, livid bro. if he's this, still alive. This show is power of friendship. Be they be saving it. Bro, he I went did. atomic from like the inside out. He should be done. I did reversed. like how I liked how he uh, needs to be done. Re- reverse. I like how Dobby cursed him all the way to the end. Yeah, because that shows that like Endeavor doesn't get redemption. Yeah, like. Endeavor's going to keep working toward it, but he's never going to actually earn it. The mistake yeah. that he made won't be fixed now. There's nothing he can do to erase that mistake. Even in the final moments, if Dobby would have been like, yo, I forgive you. I love you, dad. That would have fucked up the entire thing that Endeavor is. Because yeah. Endeavor is, I made a mistake. I'll never fix that mistake, but I'm going to keep taking step forwards no matter what. The, him being like, yo, I hate you, dad, shows like this mistake will never be fixed, but I'm still going to keep trying no matter what. And that is the core of Endeavor's story. I would have been pissed if he was like, I love you, dad. I forgive you. He would be like, no, he would not be the same Endeavor that we like. Yeah. Like he would change. Yeah. I do. That's why personally it got such a high rating for me because I'm separating it from like Mm -hmm. every other episode and just looking at it this one. Everything they did, I was like, yeah. You're I, moving the context? I'm just fucking with you, I guess, like, technically. I'm just fucking with you, But, like, I, I'm looking at it, and it just it just feels like you couldn't have... Th- this episode, you didn't whiff. Like, every everything was... No, they did. It went out of the park. They did whiff. Where? Because to name this episode, I am here. And to only have All Might but wait. be in that bitch for two minutes. That like was he, that's he, one of my favorite parts. He was talking hot. That was one of he my favorite parts. He was talking parts. hot. I'm going to be real. That, that, I was fucking with that. That was one of my favorite that parts. That nigga looked into the camera and said, what can I do? Bro, he and was it, going And cut back to the Jekyll stupid. shit. And it was like, yo, can I be a hero without a quirk? And he's standing there. He was like, I should have said He yeah. was like, hey, bro, I <laughs> he know like, he can't avoid me. me. He was I like, he's not going to look past me. I was like, no, nah, he's going crazy. I feel, yeah. I feel the complete opposite from I, you all. I, I You're it. 
bug. That was I turned on part. this episode for All Might to turn the fuck up. Oh, I got it. And this nigga, I know. I turned up for All Might to be him and do his shit. Yes. And he did absolutely nothing. That that was like. Why did you name this? I am here because he you, is for two minutes. That's all we needed. Nigga, Todoroki was here. That's all we Endeavor needed to was see. Here. That's all I needed to see. I, I knew, wanted. I, I knew that, that shit should happen this I episode. Been, they, I don't feel like that's a whiff against the episode. Nigga, the preview last week was here's a here's a preview of what happens next week. And it was definitely all my content. all my turns up episode. I am here, and then he wasn't. He wasn't here. <laughs> He is here no, though. He wasn't there. here. He pulled no, up. Ida no, was here. No, no, Todoroki wait, 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 was here. Wait, wait, wait. Endeavor no, was here. He's nigga, there. Ray was here. He, he's there. I am there, nigga. What the fuck? <laughs> hey, he's there. But did, why did they name this episode? I am here because he I'm, is in one of the best spaces I, that he could be right now. Minutes. I'm realizing more and more why I fuck. It vindicated what I was saying mm -hmm. when I'm saying that nigga is Spider Man. <laughs> huh? <laughs> oh, yo, the successor of Iron Man. Okay. Spider Man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is all my doing right now? Oh, because he's, he's about, on his Iron he's Man. About, shit. Suiting up. He's about to become Iron Man, and it's just clarifying for me that so, this nigga Deku is Spider Man. Also, we all <laughs> said <laughs> last week doing. that we thought it would be dumb if this nigga put on a goddamn Iron Man suit. Nah, I, yep. I, I said I like I like that. Oh, you said you thought that would be cool? Yeah, nah, it's still he, stupid. Oh, I think if he put on a suit of some sort, Why, it's still dumb. somebody else should put that suit on. No, right? they're yeah. the you normal. It, it's about the heart inside. Now, if he bro. if he die, I I let it rock. It's the heart. I don't want I don't <laughs> want him to win this fight. What you mean? There's no reason he should win he this fight. Want, he just wants this nigga to see. You just want some death and destruction. No, 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 no. Because <laughs> I'm not fucking with this unless that nigga die. Right. <laughs> I, I will fuck with it because it makes no sense for the the absolutely have no powers nigga. To be the one to go get it done right now, you know what but, I'm saying? But it, it was about um, if all my Shigaraki's doesn't die, it's absolute. Has leaked into all for one, right? So there's no way that gonna... you believe that all my in a suit should be able to not die against all for one. He's getting packed, right? This, well, he, he should be able to make it, right? <laughs> he ain't got nothing to steal. So That's I think we should That's we true. should send Bear Quirkless to go. Yeah, no, but we should send the nigga that might as well be Quirkless, like Tail. Yeah, yeah. Where, where if you go, well, in, in the same sense, he is quirkless for real. That's what I'm saying. He's a, he's, a, he's nah. A, you should send quirkless people. No, no, sending tail is sending a quirkless. Nigga. Nah, that's because a, all for one got other quirks quirkless that quirkless could nigga. make tail go crazy. Like, like what? I don't know, bro. Like I don't iron know what tail, he, nigga. No, dude. iron tail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He oh, got mm, quirks that could like <laughs> right. Like you might be better <laughs> off sending quirkless whip, people. Right. <laughs> <laughs> nigga fairy tale like what this nigga got bro i feel like you're better Shark off tail? sending like just straight up just quirkless people yeah no and all might that's probably one a tale of, the of two cities silly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god yeah no nah, i think it's i think it's done bro yeah it's i just cool. think it's so crazy because you just send all the i would just send all the terrible quirks towards them oh okay wait i i know i need to say this they were in the little safety area, right? Mm -hmm. And the piece of the ceiling fell down. Yeah. And the bulldozer nigga caught it. Yeah. yeah. He should not be allowed to be there. You should not be. You should not be allowed to be there. You quit being a hero. You know you got hero powers, and now you sitting there like, save me, heroes. Yeah. You're one of them. Go out here. Yeah. I'm like, what is? Yeah. Why are you in? This you do like not have the right to be spot. in this bitch. Yeah. What why are you does, doing? What, so, what do you want him to do? Go fight. Yeah, that I'm like, bro, why are be you here? You, well, then why do you get to be protected? Wait, wait, wait. You're the top advocate of don't do what you don't want to do. And that nigga don't want to fight. Then you can't yeah, be saved got, by us. Yeah, I was about to why? say, you cannot fight, but you now are not allowed to well, be. Wait, you're wait, not wait, allowed wait. to be like, so save me, save me. Who wouldn't fight at all deserve to be deserve to be protected. I would fight. I'm just scared. Think about, <laughs> think about how crazy it would be, right? If Superman was like, you know what? I'm done. And then uh Doomsday come down and he like, I'm going to sit in the Tower of Justice. Batman, save me. Nigga, no. Either get your ass out here or go get your ass whooped, bro. Like, with yeah. great power comes great responsibility. That's, that's, you don't get to it, just sit in crazy. here. 
You don't get to do that. We're throwing our life away for you. Nigga, you took a pledge. No, no. See, see, that's the part where I'm like, we need Stain in this moment. Is Dane supposed to? Right. But like, yeah. But what I are just, you in here for? Honestly, yeah. You don't get to be in. Like, how crazy would it be if Endeavor was like, yeah, ugh, I don't want to go out there. I'm going to sit in here. Y'all niggas protect me. No. Either you go out there Wait, or what? you don't get to be saved Bro, by us. Died. Bro, Especially. Died. All, how many people have died? A, a nah, lot of bro. us have died. It's even worse because he was like, hey, bro, my body just my body just acted on its own. I would have acted on its own your ass out there. <laughs> right. my what, body are you acted, doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Right. Like, I started dying. My body acted, it acted on its own to walk in hey, here. I'm not going to lie. When I saw him, I was like, he a hoe ass nigga. Like, yes. What? Like, you're not a, allowed to be you're allowed. To, you're allowed to be a hoe. That is, <laughs> nah, yes, bro. Yes, you are. Keep it a stack. You're, you're allowed to be a hoe. You are. Not in here. <laughs> you can be a hoe out there, bro. Yeah. Why do you be get to be protected by us? Now you're just dead weight. Dead yeah. weight. That's yeah. insane. That's no, but he he came in handy. You know what I'm saying? This nigga all might has nothing. This nigga should be in there. Hey, hey, bro. And I'm this a, nigga out here I'm talking about I'm stack. here. It's about your heart, bro. <laughs> that nigga don't got the heart. Then don't be in this bitch. <laughs> why you, are you here? That's you exactly don't, why he's here. He's here, a bro. hoe. Get the, no. <laughs> he can't fight. He's, and then you, you don't get to be here. To be like, oh, my, my body moved on its own. All right, bro. Yeah. Then move. You don't no, get to th- be in here, bro. Yeah, this is the same. But that's also the. I think they did a great. I did. They did a great job with showing the like. The. uh the pattern of the story that like niggas who even are up will count you out in their butt leave. No, but I'm saying like that, that is the same nigga at the beginning of the story telling Deku like, yo, Nick, don't go fight him. You're going to get killed. Right? Like that, that's the same nigga. And now he's inside. Like I won't fight because I'm scared of getting killed. So now you have nigga. to leave. Yeah. And it's just like, your how, heart. how insane would it be? You don't got no heart. It would be so crazy if the fourth great ninja war happened and that nigga, uh, Rockley was like, actually, I'm just going to hang out in the village today. No, you're not. What do you, t- no, you're not either get out here or go die. Like nigga, you don't get, we don't get to protect you. That's not how this works. But if he said he wanted to, you know, stay back and protect the village, I don't think anybody would have been like, you that's can not stay back he, and protect that's the village. Not what he did. You don't get to, you don't get to sit up with <laughs> fucking Sakura's mom and dad. Right, and then if Rock Lee accidentally leaved hurricane somebody, no, he, his body he, acted on his own. You go do that work out there. You do not get to just sit up with Sakura's mom and dad and be like, yep, protect me, big bro. No. Oh, it's crazy out there, big bro. You need to either go out there or go die. We're not protecting you. Yeah. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, that's crazy. That's insanity. No, but I un- I understand. Protect you. Like if, if Protect us. When you thinking about it like, yo, they about to stop paying me. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I'm not going to be able to protect my family. What the fuck am I doing this hero shit for? Take your ass out. You're not going to protect your family when all for one kill everybody. I'm like, telling you right I mean, now. I'm just trying to live. <laughs> nigga. <laughs> That's if what he was if like, North like, Korea send troops in this bitch, right? Yeah. They marching down the street shooting anybody out there. And the fucking mil And like, what's the top of the military? I don't know. A captain. What's, yeah, right. The general's in my house like, hey, I'm going to hide in here with you. No, you're not. Get the fuck out of here. Wait, wait. What if that nigga was not, he was trained on tact, tactful, like, assaults with air drones. And you don't get to quit to and lay up in this bitch with me, bro. I'm gonna be honest. I don't you care if you're go. general or private. You are not about to be in my house hiding out. You're, nigga, you're that's in the, military. the third amendment. Nigga, you yeah. can, or not the amendment, the third, uh, <laughs> oh, what the, Bill of Rights. I'm, I'm like, nigga, that's a, damn. Is it not an amendment? No, third Bill of Rights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The oh, third, that's the Bill of Rights. The third Bill. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> That's third right, right? I don't know. Because the first right is the uh, fair speech. Second, it's the, it's the right amendment. to bear arms. bear arms. Right. And then the third is military can't be in your crib. I thought it was... I thought it was. I thought it was they do have to be in your I thought you have to let them in. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's the exact opposite. It's them niggas can't just come in your crib. Oh. Yeah. Right to property? <laughs> I don't know what that bill shit is called, but that... I'm a, I'll look it up. There's the Bill of Rights, and, and the, there's something at the beginning. No, the beginning is the Bill of Rights. That's what I'm saying. It's the third one. The first is the right to remain. No, no, it's not. The, the right to remain silent. <laughs> 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 it's the free speech, bare arms, military can't come in your crib. 
a quartering of soldiers. Yeah. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Amendment 3. Yeah, niggas can't just be like, yo, I'm kicking it here tonight. Hmm. Yeah, I knew it was three. It's the Bill of Rights. No though, right? soldier shall in time of peace be quartered in any house. But it's the, without the consent of the owner, nor in time of war, but in manner to be prescribed by law. But that's the Bill of Rights, correct? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, but overall, this episode of My Hero was cool. I, why did they name it I'm Here? I mean, I'm sure all might have turned up, but... I mean, he is here. Now what do they name this one? We still here. We out here. I've been we, here. We been here. I've been here. <laughs> that would be fire. They just should have named this something I was always else. here. <laughs> they just should have named Never this something Never not bro. here. I thought that this episode was All Might's episode. Yeah. This I nigga ain't fight. I, I, I ain't going to lie. I def- that's the only reason you got that guess out of me last week. Because right. I saw them the thing and I was like, All Might's going to do something. They should have named this the Todoroki Family Part 2. Yeah. They named this bitch I Am Here. Why? Well, he is there. He is here. So you, okay, you can name any episode that someone's always somewhere, nigga. Like, no, no. It's different when you see that I... We know who they're talking about. I apparently it was about fucking Shoto. I guess like what the fuck. But good episode. I just didn't need all that extra. Shit. I just I just do believe they could have named it something different. Yeah, it, it was definitely a total. The preview should have been total rookie. Yeah, it was a total rookie episode. I would have I, I I could deal with the preview having the All Might stuff in it. Why? Nah, it I can be. I can deal with that. My problem is the I am here. Yeah. Like that is that, when I hear I am here. Like a picture of All Might smiling. Yeah, that's what one. I needed. Like I imagine big All Might tuck, yellow tux or whatever his tux. suit. I was about to say his suit, whatever it is. Oh, oh well, I guess his work yeah. fit. Yeah, his work fit. I see. I see that version of him standing there that's like crazy. that, cheesing when he says, "I am here." I need. I need All Might to get his ass beat this episode because just realistically, he's gonna get marked. There's he has no to. way he can. He's gonna. He's gonna put, they gotta put him putting up a fight. They'll it put is, up a fight, but like, gonna, he, if they have a suit that can put up a fight against all for one, oh, Deku needs to everyone, needs everyone this. should be in it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Every, it wouldn't make sense not to, but yeah. let's go on to Tower of God. Tower of God was. Um, so this episode of Tower of God was basically they're all getting prepared for the workshop, workshop battle. battle. Yeah. Y'all ready? Oh, I do. Yeah. 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 Y'all ready for number? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Three, two, one, Seven. eight. Yeah. 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 It was basically just a cool down episode. Did you feel yeah. like the animation was going slightly up? No, this episode had really good animation. Yeah, like I'm, I was like really peeping it. I'm like, okay, I'm done. I was like, I can't knock that point off for animation. No yeah, more. no. So like, if it, if you give me a ten, this is ten. <laughs> like, this episode is, wasn't a ten though. No, I was saying yeah, if was you just, give me a ten, yeah, I'm gonna have to give it the ten. Yeah, the the anime it looked very good. It looked great. Yeah, I enjoyed I was the visuals of this episode. Not that much happened. I mean, it showed Kuhn kicking it with the new team, which I liked. Yeah, getting ready for the workshop battle. Yeah, they were training up, getting ready. Show Bomb and his team. Yeah. Yes. Which uh, he got his pocket bag. Yeah, he yeah. got a new pocket. He got a pocket, yeah. So he could talk again. It was doing some training. Ron is kind of starting to fuck with him and be like, all right, bro. That nigga Coon probably alive. I'm going to trust Big, bro. I yeah. think Ron Ron just had to accept anything that was going on after he saw, like, he was like, nah, that nigga means business. No, nah, once bro said Coon is probably alive, he was like, all right, Mike, I'm rocking now. Yeah, he was like, no, there is no, there was, ne- there was never any fighting this. Yeah. <laughs> you like, weren't, right, weren't going to win. If, if they decided, like, yo, Ron would have remember. Ron yeah. would have fought. Yeah. If he thought Bomb wasn't on his side, Ron would have oh, fought. Oh, yeah. yeah. But it, it was He over. wouldn't have won, but Ron would have fought. After Ron said, nah, I'm not fighting, yeah. like, yeah. Buddy knew he just had to quit. Novik? Yeah. Yeah, Novik said. Uh, yeah, so, 100%. I mean, Ron number one. Novik number two. They got the shirts. Yeah. They don't wear them, but they got the shirts. So, nigga got to do what Ron say. Yeah. But not, I'm going to be honest, there's not a ton to talk about this episode because. Yeah, it was all just getting ready for, they just got to the. Fuck Rachel. I guess the workshop battle. Rachel. I don't know. Yeah. They, they just got somewhere. They just pulled up to the workshop battle yeah. and nobody can know Kuhn is alive and nobody can know Bomb, Bomb is alive. alive. Yeah. I don't know if they're going to have some type of cloaking technology. It was, that's my Kuhn. guess. The whole team. Whole they, team. Oh yeah, they are going to be there. Oh yeah. I thought all they were going to show up. So they are going to be there. 
Yeah, together. we kind of saw like a sneak peek of all of them together. Yeah, and cool. Dorsey pulling up. Dorsey, Hots, uh, yeah. Knock, Shibisu, Shibisu. Oh, Rock is pulling up too. Fuck oh me. yeah, and Rock knows that Bomb and Coon are alive. Yeah, yeah. His instincts. Hey, yo, his I just instincts. love Rock because he he saw straight. He's like, that, there is zero percent chance he's dead. Yeah, he knows they're alive. What's Rock's role? I feel like I know it. But he's a spear bearer, right? Duh. Okay, I was like, what the fuck else would he be? It would be insane if he Doesn't was anything. He carry that, a yeah, spear? yeah, that's but the I was only nigga like, with a spear. <laughs> that's kind of why I was confused because I was like, he's the only one that actually bears a spear. Yeah, he's a spear bearer. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I was like, I'm like, oh, I also found this out because a lot of the roles are stupid. Like the names of them, fishermen, dumb, right? Yeah, misleading. Some would say, definitely. No, it just don't make no sense. It's. Yeah. Basically, because them niggas don't be fishing. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but <They> cook. <laughs> like, the reason why is because the author was extremely obsessed with the ocean. That is why lighthouse, the lighthouse would lead spear you through bearer. the ocean. A spear bearer, spear fishes. A fisherman is the person who's in that bitch. A wave controller controls the waves. Shinsu is literally water and oh. all of that. Um, the only one is like a scout. I mean. Scout. He well, could have named it a diver. Well, that, that you, you could probably need, be a scout on a boat. A scout on a boat. Yeah, yeah, you but a diver a would hit harder personally. But, but yeah. uh, I think the scout makes it makes sense for what they in in the show use a scout for. Yeah, so like it's just it, it makes sense. But yeah. that's why it's because they're all ocean based, and apparently in the webtoon that's a little bit more clear. Hmm. Well, Shinsu did look like water. Shinsu does look like water, yeah. but I think there's a deeper history and correlation into the ocean in the actual webtoon than in the show. So okay. that's that. Got you. Makes more sense. Yeah. Learn that little tidbit for y'all. <clears throat> yeah, that, that actually makes a lot more Make sense. Make sure you're talking to uh, That makes a lot more sense for the... The names and shit. The names yeah, because the only one that I thought was like... Even wave control, I didn't really think water. I just thought Shinsu kind of looked like water. Yeah. But Fisherman was dumb as shit. I thought yeah, wave that was control the only had one. something to do with like... You're able to start something, <laughs> like uh, start the wave, mm. bring the wave. In. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no wave control. They all make way more sense once you get that piece of knowledge and shit like that. Yeah. Um, is Don gonna be fast? He's I'm, just gonna be less fast. I'm guessing he'll just be less fast. Or is that nigga just gonna have normal legs? If he, he got normal might, legs, that's but. He not gonna be fast. He's gonna unleash more of the, the more lightning is gonna come out of his... He's gonna get the <laughs> dungeon. Mm. Yeah. Nah, yeah. I, I would hope that he does. I, I think, think he's gonna, he just doesn't run. I think he's still gonna be a speedster, uh, just less speedstery. I think he's just like if like, he's not at all, I would be a little be disappointed. Because like, what are you here for? You like but like we bringing you along because we're gonna take you for the ride. You gang. Ron said it. This nigga is horrible at everything. Yeah, but his legs. Are top notch. So if this nigga don't got no legs no more, fuck are you here for? We we you gang, bro. We you just want to take you to the top. He has to still be a little speed three, just he, slower. He'll just probably add some. Like I imagine he'll just probably have to get more crafty because it's like that nigga can before die, you could rely that on die? your legs. He can die. Yeah, that nigga can die. I kind of like him. He's cool. Me too. Oh, <laughs> but if you're not gonna be a speedster, nigga, you could die. Uh if he's. I think, I think there's He'll a chance, cool. like, you, he's still going to be fast, right? That's all I want. Yeah, he's still going to be fast. I just don't think he's going to be as fast, so he's going to have to become more crafty, right? Because I don't have the speed to, like, just, pew, just out the situation anymore. Yeah. I got, I have to figure out ways where I can use my speed to get an advantage. That's Story-wise, I could see him, like, running and then, like... Making his injuries worse, so that's probably what's gonna happen. I like that. Yeah. On some like, uh, cheaty shit. Yeah. Where it's like, damn, I'm fast, but nigga, this knee might go. Yeah, that's like. what I think they are probably gonna do. Cause it wouldn't really make sense story wise for him to just not run. Speaking of which, it's coming back, man. Ain't it tomorrow? Yes, I think. I thought it yeah. came out. I think it's tomorrow. Tomorrow's the 8th, right? Tomorrow's or, the eighth. What? No, is it the eighth or the sixth? I thought tomorrow's it came the out on the oh, sixth. Oh, it might be the sixth then. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah. That and Bleach are both the sixth. Yeah. Yeah. That was <clears> Sunday. Yeah, that's about to go crazy. Jeez. I'm waiting for that to come back. Oh, I don't know what I'm watching first, big bro. I don't even know. Yeah, I really don't know. Both them bitches bang. Yeah, man, man. I actually don't know what I'm gonna watch first. Uh, I don't 
I think I might have to go. I might go Blue Lock, actually. I think last week I said Bleach. I think I'm going to go Blue Lock. I don't know what the fuck I'm watching. <laughs> Whatever Crunchyroll put. Oh, no. Blue Lock or Bleach is Hulu. Oh, yeah, true. True. So Crunchyroll, go and put Blue it's gonna Lock. It's going to be Blue Lock. Front. So I might fuck around and just go bleach on them. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> the way my Roku setup is, Hulu, I got to scroll down a couple times. So mm-hmm. I have a button on my controller that just says Hulu. I do, too. I never hit. I do, too. I never hit it, though. Why? Because the home screen is like the second one down. Yeah, but it, I just feel like the second I grab the remote, if I'm going to Hulu and I know, I'll just hit the button. <laughs> Hulu straight to it. I'll probably go I'm to no Hulu scrollers. first. It's Hulu. easier. I'm going to have to look it up either way. I'm on Zora. Because so. I want to figure out if I can reprogram one of them buttons to go somewhere else. Because I, I don't go to stars. <laughs> Mine is something blue. Max? Prime? Nah. Prime Video? No. Nah. HBO? That's Max. Yeah, that's Max. I don't know what it is, but it's something blue. Hmm. Sling? Hmm. Maybe, Maybe it's Sling. Yeah. It might be Sling. Hmm. What the fuck is on Sling? No, That's why I said I'm trying to reprogram it. I don't use stars. Don't you? Sling is on mine. Mine has. It might be Sling. I know it has Hulu, Netflix. Yeah, it's, it's and Hulu, there's one more. It's Hulu, Netflix, something blue. It's uh, stars and then Sling for me. Stars, yeah. I was thinking there's something black. I yeah, think it's stars. It's, yeah, black. The black one is stars. I'm going to look at it when I get home. When I get home, I'm going to look at it, and I'll let y'all know Yeah, I, just, I hit the Hulu button, though. I, that's the only one I hit. I'm never on It's Hulu. a little ru- rubbed off. There's nothing good on Hulu for real. The only all, one I used was Prime. All the uh, Warner Bros. stuff is, like, on Hulu, so, like, you still you can still watch, like, all the Warner Family, Brothers stuff Family is Guy and all oh, that stuff. Steph, that shit. What the fuck? I watch, like, Bob's Burgers. I, when, I just shit. I throw stuff on to be in the background. I don't throw... Like, I don't watch TV as much as I use it as just, like, background. I don't news. do that. Yeah, that's only why I just Warner watch Brothers. cable, because I don't care what comes on on the yeah, Dolls. Yeah, yeah, I don't I do that. Throw, yeah, I just yeah. don't care. Only Warner Brothers projects I watch are... DC related and those and are all Max. Max. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm watching Young Justice again. I'm doing. Well, Young I think D- DC also has like a deal directly with like HBO. Probably. Yeah, that's what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah, all those are on there. Paramount got everything else. That also might be the blue button. Nah, Paramount's also got the blue. One. I don't think Paramount's on my remote. Maybe it might be because yeah, it might it say Para Plus. I don't, I don't think know. it's mine. That. Definitely don't say that. Yeah. No, I like, know it don't say because Paramount. it's Paramount Plus. But uh, instead of writing Paramount, they I think P-R-A. it just says Paramount. If it is, I know it don't say Paramount. P A R A and then Plus. I don't know if Paramount's on there, but if it is, it I know it doesn't say Paramount Plus. Plus. Yeah. Cause yeah. I, cause yeah. Does it? Well, I never click it, so I wouldn't even know. Do you even have a Roku? Mom does. No. You be in mom's room if I need to use like Amazon sometimes. Oh, fair enough. Fair yeah. Enough. Amazon is tough. Yeah. yeah. That's the only thing I've watched on Amazon is Invincible and has been. But All I watch on there is Invincible and the boys. Yeah. But I only have that on my bedroom TV, which sucks because I hate watching TV in the bedroom. Yeah. I can't do it. That shit is ass. I literally I try and explain to my girlfriend all the time that my beds are for sleeping. Yeah, that's what I tell Alexis. We don't watch TV in I, the bed I can't. She gets mad at me because I, like, I just start... And I'm like, what, what am I supposed to do, bro? I'm laying down in a bed watching TV. Like, a, the only beds times in my mind, strictly for sleeping. The only times our bedroom TV is on is one, if I'm watching a show for the podcast, like Invincible or The Boys, mm. or two, if I'm not there and Alexis just wants some light on in the bedroom because she like is scared of the dark if I'm not there, I guess. So. Those are the only two times the TV is on. It's we never just sit down and watch it. Is she not scared of the dark when you're there? No, I guess. Nigga, I'm a demon. What the fuck? Nigga, what's what's about to press me? I'm white beard, darkness. <laughs> darkness gets scary. Nigga, I'm dark. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> There's a bigger darker. The fuck, I'd be scared of. There's a bigger darkness. <laughs> like, I'm just saying. If I'm scared of the dark, then I I'm scared Yo, every time yeah. I look in the mirror. But, all right, y'all, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap up. Thank you all so much for tuning in. We'll catch you guys next week. We out. Peace.